Okay. Hello, everyone. We didn't do anything. Okay. I, uh, I believe you wholeheartedly. Cool. Mm. It's, uh, yeah. It's just, yeah, after doing this for as many years as I have, uh, when a player screams, we didn't do anything, I just learned to accept it and move on with my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the one. That's the one. You're not curious at all. Uh, nope. <laughs> just stop keeping mm -hmm. that. <laughs> keeping that. I just, it's, uh, it's like a parent, you know? Just like, do I want to know? I don't think I want to know. I don't think I want to know one bit. Don't know. Okay, I'm a little curious. What what happened? What do you guys do? What's going on? Nothing. Jose was saying that your farts are extra farty. That's true. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, that checks out. That's true. That's you know, I try to keep it on this side of the house. You know what I mean? So uh... prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you were into that show. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that new ASMR? That, question mark. Uh, that's. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Terrible little squeakers, little squeakers, one and all. <laughs> this is good. This is this is oh. the, this is the content, everyone. Is anyone else? Mom's not here. We yeah. we get to do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, does anyone else's farts sound like Kirby uh, from Nintendo? What, what the hell what? are you talking about? Yeah, that's right. I just really like wonder. breathing in. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, Pew! yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> little pollo fart. Abs oh, pew! Absolutely. Pew! Well, Look, I, I, you know, we, today might be a shorter session. I want to get all the cursed shit out now. You know what I mean? And the, and the more cursed we are, maybe that might summon uh, Dodger to us. You know what I mean? Like, if we continue the cursed talk, she might awaken. Us, us, like, having a really cursed talk is just the equivalent to chanting, Awaken! 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 awaken at her. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's do a little fan art. Shall we? We had a couple of cute little pieces uh, from our community, and then we'll uh, we'll get into it. Uh, like I said, today's probably going to be a shorter session with Dodger missing, uh, but that's okay. Because uh, next, and then we'll try again next week. Sound good with all of you? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah, all the Adventure Time pieces. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, we have, we have Adventure Time pieces? Question mark. Show me this good stuff. In the in the thread before the forum mage. Oh, gotcha. Why why mage? Why 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 mage? Why are you mage right now? Yo, this is the first time I've seen this building mm -hmm. with the lights. Because I've just been looking at the damn. I can't see what's going True. on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at the the you map. You guys have been immersed. Things. You've been in black screen. <laughs> Oh, this is, you guys got lights and spins and blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot going on there's right now. There's a lot of blood. All right. Uh, I, I got fish. Let's see here. Oh, I think we're going to... No, I no, we did that one. I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. Uh, I'll start with this one. Let's start with this one. Oh, he's making wild calls. I'm making wild calls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that yeah. creature! I'm making wild That's calls. Very cute. Oh yeah, because uh, we also saw it, but I don't care. Here we go. So romantic. Hey, nice. That's yeah. me. Yeah. I mean, we did that. And then we get we'll go into the adventure. <laughs> oh my! God. Very cute. It's so good. Oh. Cute, cute baby yeah. boy. <laughs> baby. Dark. Yeah, this is this is uh this is full on adventure time, isn't it? Yeah, Yo. that's super cute. He's a space hunter, <laughs> look at him, a little guy. Oh, that's oh very cute God. as well. Oh, I love oh. that. Oh. That's really good. A Dharma. Emmy. Yeah, we do have uh, we started using threads or. Form posts or I don't know whatever makes it easier for 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 our fan artists you know look at this little stinker this fern so good that is a little stinker 
Look at this. A little stinky. Look at this little stinker. <laughs> we slap him. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, mother. That's so good. That's oh amazing. my god. Oh my gosh. Blushes? Behold. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> I hate Holy the background. Shit. I hate that middle background so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hide so everyone so can see good. it. I'm spreading my shit. Cute, cute, cute. So good. That's super good. I only got a pickle. So Maggie. good, <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> I miss Re Maggie. Rest in Maggie. forever in our hearts. Rest in Maggie. Uh, point of view, your dash. <laughs> <laughs> well, my boys died last session. Oh yeah, not that's all right, of them, but did. most. Did one of them have a shotgun. Yeah, Pat has a shotgun now. That's, oh my god. That's that's his. That's his. Uh, he, so. Uh, for necromancers or those with the necromancy skill, uh, you can choose the, the the at level two. You could choose either the grim harvest ability or having an undead minion with you. Uh, Hellebore mm. chose undead minion, uh, so it's a skeleton or zombie that scales up with you, much like nice. the artificer's uh, little little pet. And we got attached to Pat, so I had to. We. Action. We. <laughs> You're like, my arms are tied. Mm. Everyone wanted pads. I don't know. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, I get it. Oh, hey, look at those good boys. Mm. Super Hell cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, cute. Look at Cheezo. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fluffy <laughs> boy. That's so good. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's super good. Hell yeah. Fluffy boy. Uh, Bearbot coming in with this, with a doodle pad. Ooh. <laughs> cute. I like so him many. as the star. Look at those the dudes. You, the you tried star. Cute. Mama? Pretty. Prince Nightingale. Don't you think she's single? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wait, that's so good though. You haven't even begun to cry yet, Summer. Wait, it's fuck it's almost Eli's time of year again. Santa. Oh, shit. Santa cometh. Dog night. He's a necomancer. Oh God! He's a necromancer. Yo. Necromancer. Oh He's my a God! He's a necromancer. I can't That's illegal. That. My heart <laughs> wished husband me doing whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> That's one of my favorite meme templates. Is that meme right there? Bad artist. So good. Thank you so much uh, for all of that. Greatly appreciate it. You can share your fan art on Discord, exclamation mark Discord, and the uh, Deadbeats uh, thread. Or post, or, or, or topic, or forum, or I don't know. It's so, forum now. So Communication old. boxes. Yes, so old. So old. Urgh. All right. <clears throat> One second. A little bell cheek, excuse me. Oh, he's a burpy boy. Burpy boy. Burpy boy. Well, normally I say I'm gassy, and everyone just assumes I'm just hot boxing right now, and like well, that's, I mean, yeah, we know. I mean, just, it's your office, dude. You do what you want. Like yeah. that just Poyo. that just stops me from Poyo. talking. Poyo, I'm like, I'm like, oh, Poyo baby. <laughs> Poyo, you know. Poyo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So where we last left off, uh, I think we'll do a little spooky. It's been a it's, it's a spooky moment right now. I, I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with spooks. So uh, last we left off, um, half of the party went to explore the abandoned firekeeper's hut, 
uh, said to have been haunted uh, over in the village of, uh, of, of Aquari, of Aquari, Aquari, bleh, Aquarian. Uh, as you guys sort of explored this hidden area, you easily saw the village had been using this as a place of storage instead of the actual firekeeper hut and the uh, bonfire that is kept above uh, this hut to help guide sailors home, uh, considering the fact that Aquarian is a, is a fisherfolk village. And so a lot of the anglers will go off the coast, will try and, and get as much food as they can to not only feed the folk of Aquarian, um, but also uh, of Briar Glen, which is the second village here on Bellius Island. Uh, you have been given a series of tasks that the Aquarian people need assistance with in the hopes that they may help you uh, when it comes to finding one Ignatius Hellebore, which you are current, who you are currently seeking uh, for personal uh, needs and vendettas. As you guys explored, uh, as half the party explored the abandoned Firekeeper's Hut, uh, you immediately discovered boxes being thrusted and thrown upon you, uh, torches that are lit exploding in one's face, all of these things happening to Eli, of course, and then eventually discovering the culprit, these altered rats that seem to have uh, deep latent and psychic powers. As you explored the depths of the uh, the firekeeper's hut, uh, you will have arrived over to face a sort of psychic rat man who was flinging spells. Uh, it downed Eli one time. Uh, most of Hellebore's undead army had fallen while you, the three of you explored this area. And then finally, with the final punch given uh, by Isla, uh, you drag the the broken and beaten body of the rat man, um, kind of stopping the psychic area. You set fire to most of the uh, to most of the storage area uh, within here, and as you dragged the beaten rat body in here, uh, you kind of watch as uh, its lifeless body convulsed and twitched. Uh, the fur that it was once covered with so, sort of sunk into the body of this young humanoid. Uh, discover that uh, before you is now the corpse of a farmhand who was uh, inflicted with lycanthropy, uh, transforming into the rat-like creature. And that is where we ended the last session with sort of this broken body in front of what I'm going to assume is a traumatized Isla. Oh, is, God. <laughs> the, sta the stage is yours. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I, I, I don't think Isla is going to do anything much immediately. It's going... Like, this is something that her brain has to figure out. So she's really just standing there, staring at this corpse transform in front of her with just like the most distant thousand mile stare. Isla's little brain gears are going in not good places. Y'all good? I'm good. Let's get out of here. Boys, go collect your brothers. Just begins to shuffle. Ha! <laughs> uh, gathering from all around this uh this this basement area, uh, you're gonna just watch for those that are able to see. Uh, as the two skeletons start dragging in the bo the bony r remains and ruins uh, of the skeleton army and the the zombie army, uh, before dragging all of the uh, re corpses into the bag of holding that Piper once had. Thank you, boys. Ah! Ooh, rat! He picks up one of the rats too and puts it in the bag. Ah, uh, you grab one of the rats and drop it within the bag. Nice, good job. Isla, are you in the darkness? You doing good? Isla... Isla doesn't really respond, but 
you kind of hear her flump onto the ground. She's looking at this corpse, and I think, I think she's gonna, like, reach out and just kind of, like, touch its forehead and just, like, quietly cast Spare the Dying on it, just in, like, some small semblance of hope that there might be something to bring back. As your hand glows uh, with the divine energies that are surging out of you, uh, you kind of expel this sort of familiar divinity uh, upon uh, what I can only describe as an object at this point. As you place a hand finger on a forehead, you expect, uh, you can't help but expect uh, sort of like a warmth, uh, maybe a reaction, a twitch of some kind. Uh, but as you do, it is unsettling, uh, very unsettling, uh, as the corpse does not respond to your touch whatsoever. And as you sort of channel the divine energy out to try and spare this, this creature's life, you'll kind of watch as your hand gives a faint glow, the divine energy's leaving you. Uh, and there'll be a soft glow upon the forehead before it immediately dies down, uh, the body unmoving uh, as it was before you had cast the spell. I, Isla, I, Isla's gonna keep trying, <laughs> and she's, and I think by that point, after the first time doesn't work, uh, you'd kind of be able to hear her just under her breath, like, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Every time, by the way, because Spirit the Dying is vocal, all of you keep hearing the same incantation over and over and over again within the darkness. Uh, and the voice of Isla getting more and more desperate as she keeps saying the same incantation to cast a Spare the Dying. Where is this in relation to me? Like, is this in the same room or is it on? Uh, it'll, oh, be, okay. yeah, it'll be there. Hey girl, are you okay? Uh, as you sort of approach within, uh, you'll see the uh, the body over here of the, the farmhand. And you rec immediately recognize the clothes as the that that uh, rat humanoid that you had just uh, beaten and fought. Oh. Do I uh, go Do on. I will... Do I will take this in. I'll take the body in uh, the incantation, the desperation, and. He'll let out a, a very slow sigh through his nose and kneel down beside Isla and very slowly, very calmly place his hands on her arms. He's gone. No, 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 no. He, he's not gone. He's not gone. I didn't do this. I did it. I didn't do this, right? You didn't do this to him. I didn't. I this I is not your fault. I thought... I didn't know. She's shaking. She She's shaking really hard right now. Is she still sort of like kneeled on the ground? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Fiber will kneel down and attempt to give her a hug. Uh, as you wrap your arms around her, she doesn't pull away or tense up, but you definitely feel her little frail body just trembling as the weight of this corpse is just falling on her. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work if I do it one more time. 
Just one more time, one more time, one more time. I didn't do this. I'm not like her! And she slams a fist on the ground. You didn't do this. We didn't do this. This was done to him. And he would have... Would have killed so many others had we not intervened. You did the right thing to you. We could have figured it out. Figured it out, done something if I just didn't go ahead. Go ahead and thoughtless. Just... You didn't know, we didn't know. That's not on you to bear. I love, uh, I, Isla's face right now is pretty scary. <laughs> she, she's, she's staring very intensely at this. And I think after a moment, she'll just like, she'll, she'll stand up shakily, but she'll, she'll get up and just keep staring. Doctor, we need to get out of here. Yeah, probably for the best. What do we do with him? Where do we take him? I'll take care of it. Just get back to the others. What are you going to do? Make sure whatever this is is contained and safe for whoever comes next. Okay. Come on, let's get you out of here. Okay. Piper will try to help her stand up. Yeah, she she's a bit wobbly, but she she's with you. Uh, he'll like keep her his arm around her and try to help her leave and just like help her every way every step of the way. Uh, the two of you would leave the the hut. Is that correct? I I was just following, so yeah. Yeah, she'll so. head out, uh, but he'll order the two boys to help Eli and listen to him if he needs it. All right. So the two of you will depart, uh, leaving uh, Eli to him himself. Pat will walk up uh, along with this skeleton, and they look at uh, Eli, uh, waiting for to, waiting for the order. There's a, a brief moment where Eli looks between the two of them in the, the dim light. I guess I'm emitting from himself. Um, mm -hmm. And he'll sort of shake his head like, this is my life now. <laughs> and uh, he'll say, all right, boys, round up all the corpses, put them in the center of this room, clear out all the boxes. Let's get to work. You'll watch as uh, Pat looks over to the other mindless skeleton who just seems to be aimlessly looking. And Pat just goes, ha! <laughs> skeleton nods, uh, almost as if receiving a translated set of instructions that Eli had given. Uh, and then slowly the skeleton will begin shuffling over in this room. Afterwards, you're gonna see uh, Pat as he uh, looks over to Eli, kind of give a, a salute uh, as Pat is going to start going upstairs to handle everything there. Some time will pass, um, but eventually all the corpses of the rats and, and like uh, will be gathered over uh, in this sort of burnt out room in general. Uh, the boxes themselves that are upstairs are gonna be a bit trickier for a skeleton to try and, and move around. Um, but the, at the vi oh, go on. 
uh, to be clear, I just want to clear out like anything that could be salvageable from this room and I'll do it myself. Like if I have to. Um, oh, gotcha. Uh, yes. Yeah. So what, um, when you say salvageable, like what are some, some key things that you're looking for exactly? Uh, anything that would be of value to these people who live oh, here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, various, uh, like tools and, and metal pythons and stuff like that. Um, uh, you would probably be able to get, but of a lot of it is of mundane value. Of course, uh, this area is mainly filled uh, with the wheat uh, that seems to be on the boxes where the rats have originated from. I assume all of that's contaminated at this point. That, uh, I can't, I wouldn't be able to tell you one way or another. That'd be something you'd have to investigate on your own. I'll take a, well, I, I'll try to salvage it anyway, I guess. I'll take what doesn't look obviously uh, soiled or contaminated and mm -hmm. move it out. Okay. So you'll kind of like take some of the wheat and place it in one of the other crates. Um, as for the rest of it, uh, most of it seems to have been chewed uh, or uh, contaminated with like rat droppings and stuff like that. It seems these rats came in with these boxes uh, with some of the, the, the wheat itself. Uh, you're able there, but again, it's going to be challenging to tell what's contaminated and what's not but you do not manage to salvage a lot of it some is better than none that is correct I'll do that and I'll uh, order the boys to exit the room and to I'll, what, I'll to what the room I'm sorry to exit the room got it They would do so. I'll give this area one last, uh, like check to make sure that any sort of blaze in here would be contained. Mm -hmm. And uh, if if that is, if it's an acceptable, uh, I guess, if nothing in here, if the tower won't collapse if I set something on fire in here, I will burn the corpses. Yeah, you'll kind of look at the basement itself is entirely covered with the metal itself. Um, you would remove this doormat before doing anything. And then finally, you would just set light to the room as it immediately inflames with the rest of like the crates and stuff that you couldn't salvage as the fires would continue to spread in within, within the room. I'll wait till it's done. As long as it takes, and then I will do my best to press the digitation and clean up. Okay. Um, it, it would take some time before the spread. You probably would need to spend about an hour or so in here doing all that at the very least. I would do so. Okay. Then during that hour, I will have to, I will switch the swing, the scenes over to, uh, Aquarian while you are doing that. Do, 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 do. All right, one moment, please. Uh, I'm going to, so during that hour, let me get us over here. <clears throat> one moment. Oh God, they're still fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy's date. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, within that time, all of you would leave the uh, the hut behind. This will happen during the uh, during two p.m. Uh, so, uh, Piper and, uh, Isla, you both would leave the abandoned hut. What would you like to do at this point? Do you want to go back to town and get yourself away from all that? Or do you want to stay here and wait for Eli? Let's, let's wait for Eli. Let's make sure he's fine. Okay. Uh, what would you be doing during this hour? Uh, Piper's 
mainly watching over Isla, trying to comfort her in any way she needs, maybe try to distract her with like a, a book or something to read to get her mind off of it if she needs it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isla is probably sitting on the side, thousand miles staring. Uh, if there's a book, she has it open on her lap, and she's staring at the pages, but clearly not reading. Piper will just, like, sit next to her and rub her back and try to be supportive. Okay. So, um... Unfortunately, this is the part where I will need to pause the game for now and wait till next week when Dodger shows up so we can have the full party. But I did want to progress as far as we could today. Um, and I think that is the farthest I would be able to do so. At the third, at, at 3 p.m. is when we would have to, 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 we would continue at that point in time. So uh, that is where we're wrapping up today. I do apologize for the short session. Um, but I do want the full party uh, together before we continue. Does that sound good with you guys? Sounds fun. Yeah. All right. Awesome. And then also at the same time, I don't want to, you know, I could go to Buddy and be like, what's she what Buddy's doing? Yay. But then it like, I feel like would weaken the moment. <laughs> of what's just <laughs> happened here? <laughs> so fishing. <laughs> fishing. Fishing. Flirt with the elder. Let's go. <laughs> Woohoo. Tonal <laughs> whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like I said, I do apologize. We, we did like a 30 minute session, I know, but I figured it was better than nothing and having you guys wait. And now we have a nice point we can get to with the full party. It's Dragon Ball Z episode starting Listen, next week. Yeah. All I'm saying is that next week I better get a pure, uh, like unbridled 45 minutes of just you two flirting with each other nonstop. <laughs> Yeah, we can I do want that. I want real date RP. I want hardcore <laughs> flirting between my two male friends that I can lean back and eat popcorn to. <laughs> <laughs> I I cover myself with a towel. <laughs> oh, so feels so dirty. I do the points a gun. Flirt with each other Flirt. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, tune right. in next week. <laughs> yeah, two, yeah, something to look forward to. Um. Uh, but yeah, thanks for understanding. Um, but I, I felt like this was the best uh, middle ground for everything. Um, but next week, I swear to God, we're doing a full fucking session. I swear to God, I want to continue this story. So, okay. Sound good with you guys? Sounds good, King. Yeah. Thanks, thanks again for all your support. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? All right. Yeah. Catch you later, buddy. Yeah. Right, bye. 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 Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hi. Welcome to Deadbeats. We've, we've Welcome to you. Hey, welcome to you. Welcome to you all. Let me wow. check. What? Did you say bow? Oh, you're bowing. What? I what? I, I heard no, I, I heard bow. I heard what? bow. I said wow. I, said, oh. I heard wow. wow. No, I heard I heard get bow. Get down. Get down. What? <laughs> I heard bow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, get bow. I didn't say that, but okay. Know, you know, I, we'll, I, we'll, we'll, we wish we'll you did. It. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I got to We gotta get Dodger up here. No, leave me off. No, no. Put my boyfriend on the screen. No, yeah. leave me off of there. Ooh, there he is. Wow. There he oh, is. He's back. Hello. It's oh. me, Dash. <laughs> oh, there he is. Dash wow. You want to hold mm. hands? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, okay. you, well, you guys aren't together right now, so that's true. It. I'm fishing and not stressed out at all. Yeah, you're you're having a good time. I'm having a uh, nice time with Logan and uh, thinking that sending I got from my boyfriend was very weird, but I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have made it seem like they were in more danger. Yeah. Us coming back with a really bloody Eli. It was great. <laughs> well, Eli only went Eli down twice. missing his eyebrows. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey guys, that place kind of sucked. All right, here we are. Here we are. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Um, so um, not much happened last session because last week we just did a short, a short little transition. Um, but an hour will be passing. Uh, so as a, as a the briefest recaps uh of events uh the the that we're at 
had been defeated. Uh, his body shrunk back down to his normal farmhand stuff where he is now deceased. He is now he is a dead farmhand. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Isla, my brain died there for a second, had a little bit of a breakdown, not doing too well right now. Um, while Piper uh, escorted Isla out, uh, Eli as well as Pat got to work and clean up the room of everything that had transpired within the basement and above, uh, in, uh, above the area with the fire key putt. Um, we decided to stop there because the next part we're going to do uh, is uh, more fishing! Yeah! And I didn't want I didn't want to I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I didn't want to end on that where like we just had like a, a like a serious we just had like a serious little moment with everything that that went down and then to go back to <laughs> fishing. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Uh, so, uh, two in the afternoon, um, Isla as, as well as, uh, Piper. What? I'm trying to open Piper's character sheet. It says this token references an actor which no longer exists in the world. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> uh, okay. Get, Get roasted, Summer. Uh, yikes. Yeah, we good. Hold up. <laughs> no, I'm about <I'm> <laughs> to fix it. <laughs> Oh, it's because I'm Esme right now. Oh, uh, yeah, that's prop. That's it. Okay. What's <laughs> like? Let's take, I'll, I'll take. I'll take off my Esme face. I oh, got this. Oh no, yeah. Let Ruffle. me. Let me also get Joe because Joe's turg right now. <laughs> Which one am I? Am I Piper Hellebore? Am I Doctor Hellebore? Am I? Am I Piper Hellebore? My appearance only. He Piper Hellebore appearance only. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a <laughs> I'm gonna fit. I'm gonna fix it. Don't worry. You're this okay, one. Okay, you're, thank you're, you. you're you're that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, there there you guys it is. My player handbook right now. One second. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, create some extra actors. I don't know what the hell happened over there. Oh, you know what? I could fix that. Let you're really licking the dead beats chat. Yeah, I know. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm multiplying. I'm appearance well aware. Only. That's, appearance that's, only. Appearance the, only. Yeah. Okay. So if I restore transformation, that should kill these things. There <gasps> we go. Destroy. <gasps> They're dead. Now there's only two. As no one's <laughs> ever really gone. <laughs> it's true. Especially in IO games, no one is ever really gone. Uh, funny note, uh, we were talking to... <laughs> this is something... I think you all get a kick out of this. Uh, uh, Summer and I were talking to Crown on one of his streams. And um, Crown was talking about how uh, the goblin saved the world from Cosmicara <laughs> because that is how his character heard from his uh, quartermaster, Cheadle, who is a goblin. And okay. since goblin tradition has passed that uh, Cosmicara was slain uh, by and only by the goblins, uh, that's how Cheadle sold the story to Crown's character. And so <laughs> when we were talking about Cosmicara, crowd was like yeah that's the one the goblins killed and saved the world from right and we were like oh no that's the that's the story the goblins tell everybody no, i love right. that though yeah I, I i thought that was amazing he that... was like why are there no goblins in the senate weren't they like a huge part and i'm like oh honey no that that story was not true oh yeah we were going over who's <laughs> who's actually in the senate and there's not no goblins in the senate and it's like and he, he said that he was like how come there's no goblins didn't they like save the world from Cosmicara? yes like, they did i'm so <laughs> confused as to why you all think that's not true. We there were eight of them. We killed five. I don't. This is nonsense. As a goblin, this retconning of history disgusting. It's why we're not. It's not why we don't participate in politics. That's some fake news, deep state bullshit right there. I love it. I love. I Make love IO it. great again. No, <laughs> no, boo. boo. Fucking boo. All right. Speaking you, you of, you caused this. <laughs> Speaking of, let's uh, let's go and get fishing, shall we? Uh, so at the two o'clock hour, um, yeah, Logan and Dash, what what the heck you guys up to? What are you doing? Are you? I know you guys have been fishing, but uh, anything else happening in your world right now? You guys just fishing in silence? Like what's uh, what's happening? Logan has actually been asleep. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Looking like he's fishing. 
sitting there like he's fishing, has been asleep for uh, however long the last session's times have been. Uh, it's Is been an hour. Possible. It's an hour. Yeah, you just you're just standing there asleep. Great. Yeah, a little I'm, one hour nap. I mean, <laughs> turns out he's very comfortable in a situation like this. Look, elves uh, go into trances, so that totally makes sense that that would happen. You know, you could just go into the middle of a trance like right now. That's oh, every, very cute. Every yeah, hour, I think. Yeah, go on. Sorry. sorry. No, no. I was going to say, yeah, I, I think at one point Dash like turns to say something to him and sees that he's just not <laughs> not there <laughs> and, and uh, will smile a little and kind of make sure that he's comfy. Oh. Meanwhile, his rod is slowly, slowly being dragged away by something that bit it 25 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> Let's find out. He's just. Wait, oh, yeah, if, if, yeah, can he roll? And yeah, then yeah, I'll yeah. roll, like, to see if I can grab his rod yeah, in time uh, to help go, him out. Go ahead and roll a 1d100, Logan. All right. Uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing this hour, so that actually okay. works. Yeah, he's just kind of holding on to it, and he's drifting a little bit. You know, the rod's kind of sinking down a little in his hands. Yeah, it's just sinking because he's not holding it as yeah. tightly anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dash, why don't you go ahead and give us a little little roll, shall we? Sure, just a D100, right? D100, yes. Bop. Holy nope. shit. That's amazing. That's very impressive. Wow. Quiet hour. What happens if I roll a one? <laughs> That's just a one in a hundred chance. Yeah, it's just you extra catch nothing. I don't think I would actually do something if you rolled a, You know, your fishing was, rod explodes. <laughs> when I was a kid, I went yeah. fishing with my dad Aww. and I didn't catch anything and neither did he. And I complained about it. And he was like, fishing isn't about actually catching fish. It's about just enjoying being in nature and having a quiet moment. So this is our quiet moment. A, a, We're not catching any fish right now. We're just um, enjoying being out there. A much deserved quiet moment, I, I must add, with everything that's been happening, everything that's been going on. You know, it's even though you're, you know, you're very close to finding exactly where the heck Ignatius Hellebore is. It is a moment, you know, any moment of reflection that you're going through right now, Dash, or is it just you just enjoying the silence, especially after everything that you've been through? think it's lost on dash that this place is is sort of under the same umbrella as the place that he grew up in mm. of like people that you know didn't want to be told what to do or needed to get away and sort of govern themselves for one reason or another mm -hmm. um so i think like there's there's probably a mixture if he's just sort of like sitting and thinking it's there's a a mixture of feeling sort of uh, almost like homey here, and at the same time a little unsettled. You know, mm, it's a little too familiar. Yeah, that's fair. All right, now that we've had that moment, let's go to the moment everyone's been waiting for for the past uh, several weeks now. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hamster Riz, get noodles, that noodles. boy, Noodlin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that I've taught you the proper technique. Do you feel it's? Do you feel ready? Do you feel prepared? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> you uh, you're a great teacher, <laughs> buddy. You're very flattering. I I thank you for for your kind words. I, you had the skill. You just you were just honing it together. You know. Oh well, no, I would be nothing without you. You know, you've uh, <laughs> you've helped mold this clay. Hey, you would have figured this out on your own. Well, that's very nice of you to say, but uh, if there's anything I could do for you in return, like, you know, maybe I could buy you dinner later. Oh, you know what? I think I would, I would, I would like that. All right, yeah. yeah. It's on me. It's well, on me. yeah, well, once we catch this fish, I mean, it's, you wouldn't charge you, of course. We would just be having dinner over at the meal hall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I thought I'm not used to the customs out here. With oh, the, no, uh, no. I appreciate the gesture, and maybe there is something that you can do for me. We'll talk oh. more about it over dinner. Over there? Yeah. Right. I should oh. check in on my friends, by the way. They uh, they kind of rely on me. What do you mean? 
Well, how do I say this? Kind of their protector. What do you do for a profession? I'm not sure if you know of this kind of thing out here, but uh, bounty hunting. You know, oh, like well, I track people down. Yeah, we're we're well aware of the profession. We've killed many yeah. bounty hunters before. Right, well. <laughs> not this one. <laughs> well, you haven't done anything to have us. Well, you know. <laughs> I know I haven't, but you couldn't if I did. I wouldn't. <laughs> she raises her eyebrow a little bit and goes, Ex excuse me? Well, I'm just saying that I'm, you've probably dealt with amateurs. I'm a professional. I take my job very seriously. Ah. <clears throat> so, you know, like you wouldn't be able to keep up. She puts her hand on her chin. Mm hmm. I, we couldn't handle you, is what you're saying. Well, yeah. That's not any offense to you guys. That's just a oh, real no. arrogant thing of me to say. Yeah. 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 I, no, I, I understand exactly what you're saying. It's because of your technology and everything that you can do and us in these primitive lands, we just wouldn't be able to oh, no. handle your onslaught. No, no, no. If it makes you funny bad, none of the technologically advanced places can do it either. One of a kind. Yeah. She nods. It goes, right. Well, then, bounty hunter, um, why don't you show me what you can do? Over there. <laughs> she points deeper in the ocean. Oh, right. Oh, noodling. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Gonna swim out a little bit more. She, she slowly walks back to the ghost, folds her arms, and just watches. <laughs> um, wait, did I say something wrong? Uh, no, no, you're great. You're wonderful. Show me your technique, bounty hunter. Uh, right. <laughs> Shit. Um, what was, what to was that? <laughs> she said, uh, I just said, uh, um, I thought, I think I saw a fish. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Fucking fool. Fucking idiot. All right. Uh, all right. And then you're going to try a noodle. Yeah, give me a D100. Uh, all right, so you kind of swim in. <laughs> and there's, it's a, there's, a swi there's a silent lull as you're kind of like swimming around the, the water a little bit. What are you thinking right now, uh, buddy? He's distracted. He feels like he, he, he had to prove himself. He got into like an awkward, insecure moment. So now he's like only thinking about shit. I've messed it up. <laughs> Um, as you do that, uh, you feel a, something uh, headbutt you in the gut. Oh! <laughs> oh, I think you got something. Yeah. Try and grab hold of it. Mm hmm. Uh, go ahead and make a survival check. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so as you go in and you try to grab, you feel easily just slip out of your hands and it kind of jumps over your head. It's tail like slaps you across the face before it comes back down. Uh, but you manage to, to squeeze on again. You're, you're, you're trying to like desperately grab this fish before it gets away. Go ahead and make another survival check. Okay. And it just slips out of your hand and it drags you underwater for a little bit. And if you hold on anymore, uh, it's just going to take you under. This is going to be a really kind of like awkward moment where he's considering that as a possibility and then he like, lets go. Yeah. Swims to the surface. Ah! I let it go. Ferris is uh, just nodding. Mm -hmm. A little poisonous or something. Right. Uh, of course. Did you learn that in your bounty hunting training? Um, what fishes are poisonous? I'm gonna swim closer to the shore. No, no, I mean, <laughs> look, what? Ah, She's just looking down at you with a smirk. Mm -hmm. What I said before, I didn't mean. I didn't mean it. Um, I just get a little bit protective of uh, my profession because, uh, you know, you don't make many friends in it. So, I've got to make myself look tougher than I am. She kind of chuckles under her breath and kind of give, gives a sort of like a friendly pat on the shoulder. And even though you're like damp and wet, she doesn't care. And she'll look over and she's like, I get it. And that's just, that's that's what you do in, in Io, in Europa, in space itself. You always got to prove that you gotta, you're got you bigger than, than anything, that you're the biggest thing in the world. But eh. here, 
And she shakes her head. It's... You don't need to do that. You've got nothing to prove. All you have to do is contribute. Help out your, your, your fellow folk. That's it. That's all. I don't care what background you're from. You're, what you're good at. What you're bad at. All matters is what's in there. She kind of pokes at your little soft... <laughs> your soft torso where your heart is. <laughs> oh. Well. Show us your heart. Not your balls. And then she walks away. <laughs> yeah, he'd be so lucky. I'm going to reach into the into his little side satchel, lift out a soggy cigar, shake it up in his mouth. Let's see how they're doing. We'll take a little break for now, yeah? Yeah. And she'll walk over and she's like, we're still going to talk over dinner though, right? Of course. Hmm. I mean, we caught a couple of fish, right? Yeah, should be fine. All right, so she, they'll uh, walk over to the the two of you. Mm, how about you guys catch anything? Uh, yeah, we caught a few things. Um, sorry, Logan fell asleep. So, oh, oh Logan! Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> uh, every, yeah, oh, Ooh, so much fishing! <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. How did it go over there? You did great. I had a great teacher. Hmm. <laughs> she nods a little bit. That smile just doesn't go away. She's like, mm hmm. And she's just nodding uh, a little bit towards that. And said, yeah. uh, he's a natural, I think, with a, with enough practice. Uh, he'll, 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 he'll really become something one day. Dash will smile. Yeah, he's pretty tenacious, so I'm sure he'll get it. What'd hmm. you call me? T t oh no, is that the wrong word? What the hell Tenacious? does that mean? It's... No, I you're... don't know. Isn't no. that the right context for that? Um, I, I think it's correct. When he sets his eyes to something, he does not stop. <clears throat> yeah, He's that. He's a go-getter. Oh. All right, well, thanks. Yeah, This place is pretty nice, you know. They, all they do is look after each other. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm, uh, sorry. I'm not sure what all of these are worth. A like, gesture to the fish that they've caught. I'm, I'm sure it's, it'll be plenty enough. And, you know, I, 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 I think I'm going to check the fish because it's been a, a minute. Yeah, I think the only fish you weren't able to catch was the, the, the big, the big one that's still lurking around there. But mm. other than that, it's it is pretty good. And she's like, I'm sure it'll be plenty. And I'm 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 also quite certain that Vulin will uh, appreciate anything that you catch. Of course, you're always free to fish more. I mean, take your time. You're honestly, we appreciate your company. Where did the rest of you go, though? Um, That's a good question. They apparently went to take care of the rat situation, but. I'm a little worried about them. She raises an eyebrow. Rat situation. Wasn't it rats? Above board? Uh, above board, it was a haunted... Uh, yeah, it was a haunted fire. Haunted. <laughs> I don't remember, dude. Sorry, no, no, no. You're good. You're good. I love the idea that Dash has rats, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know I, what? Yeah. I also, I also, it was rats, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I also believe, I also believe that I, I thought Piper made my sending. I was like, "There's fucking rats." Yeah, okay, that's, what, yeah. that's why okay, I thought good. you said that. Yeah, I was, a, I was trying to be a douchebag and be like, "What rats are you talking about, no, Freytale?" No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, I was worried that I was meta gaming, so no, I was like, "Oh good. shit!" I know that they had rats in there, but maybe Dash didn't. Know that no, no, I, yeah, I think Piper. I think yeah, that was part of Piper's message. So okay. yeah, that she would yeah. continue. It'd be like rats. Yeah, they, uh, there was a rat. Thing at the the house, I don't. Uh, what I don't know. What they've gone I, off to deal with it on their own. Yeah, I'm a little worried. Are you talking They'll about fine? They're tough. Are you talking about the firekeeper's hut? Rats? Maybe. There were boxes flying in that 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 area. I don't know how rats would be able to do that. Yeah, I don't know why they went off to do it on their own, but. I don't know. Piper just said to have some healing stuff ready. Oh, jeez. If it was bad enough, they would have told us to come join them, right? 
Are you asking? Are you, are you asking Farah? No, no, I'm asking I, the I, other people really, that yeah. know no, them. No, no, I would love it if like Dash look at Farah like they would ask us, right? Farah's like, I don't <laughs> fucking know. Logan, <laughs> Logan looks at Buddy, just kind of like, I don't think they would ask. <laughs> I mean, look. All I will say, if they're going to deal with some rats, we're gonna to have to have some serious ethical issues there, okay? Because rodent kind, I think, belongs in places like that if it's abandoned. So we'll talk to him about that. But I mean, if it's haunted, ghosts aren't, you know, scary. Wait, so they were fighting ghost rats? I don't, I don't guys, I don't know. Or rat ghosts? What is the right way to say that? Where's the hut? <laughs> he turns oh, rats. <laughs> Easy. I'll right up the hill, and then she'll point up over to boop, yep, uh, boop, uh, and point up over to the hut. Okay, maybe we should just walk in that direction. I don't know. I'd like to stretch my legs anyway, and I'm starting to get nervous about this. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Walk up the cove would be nice and easy. Uh, I do have some business I need to attend to, uh, but... Uh, I would love to see all of you uh, for dinner tonight. Sure. Hey, thanks so much for all of your help. Oh, thank you. Um, and then she's like, D do you mind if I take those fish off your hands? No, please do. All right. She will take everyone's fish that has been caught. Oh, I think this will be plenty. Good. Mm. I'll all see right. you later. I will see you later. Yeah. See you later. Uh, see you all later, buddy. Mm. Good work today. You too. You the too. minute she's out of earshot, <laughs> I'm just like, so? <laughs> what? Well, what happened? We know, though. That's it. We know, though. What does that mean? Fuck, you think it means, Dash? Let's move. <laughs> no. <laughs> Logan, like, he it punches the Logan. What does that mean? <laughs> Logan, Logan, like, gives you one of those, like, shoulder taps. He's like, you know what it means. And then he just sort of follows along. <laughs> I thought I knew what it means, but now I don't know what it means. Oh, you know what it means. <laughs> but, so, uh, Pinchy's just been kind of over here at the beach the entire time, just staring in the water, kind of enjoying a quiet moment. And as you're approaching... Buddy walks up, Pinchy looks at Buddy and goes, How'd it go? We know, don't. <laughs> we know, don't. Oh, yeah, they so, did. Con congratulations. Okay. <sighs> what does it mean to noodle? I don't know, but I'm apparently supposed to know. I thought it was a fishing thing, and now I don't think it's a fishing thing anymore. Oh, dear. Yeah. Hey, wait up, guys! Uh, hey! <laughs> All right, so as you guys are crossing the cove, you're gonna watch, uh, you're gonna see this man over here. He's just kind of sweeping up in front of the area. <clears throat> and he looks over and he'll just say, Oh, hello. Hey, oh, my. Uh, uh, did you see a, a group by, go by here before? Oh, yeah, they walked down there a few hours ago. Okay, thank you. Oh, just be careful, the hut is haunted. With rats? No rats, just haunted. Why did he say rats? No, he Ghost didn't. He said haunted. Rats. No, okay. not him. The sorry. Thank you. Uh, bye bye. Cheers, mate. Uh, as you guys approached around the corner, um, you're gonna see. Uh, uh, oh, are you in uh, uh, hellebore form now? It's peeper. You are in peeper form. It's peeper. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I think uh, if Isla let him, because I know they're sitting outside waiting for Eli. Piper yeah, this, has a. This nervous... would be like the end of that, like nearing the end of that hour. But yeah, go on. Yeah, Piper has a nervous habit. Like uh, one of his ticks when he's like nervous or anxious is he braids. So if Isla would let him, he'd like probably be braiding her hair. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, that's so cute. Um, yeah, I don't think Isla's gonna care what you do right now. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to be supportive, but also getting his own anxiousness out, so he's, like, braiding her hair a little bit. Like, little side braids. 
Yeah, as you guys you. are turning the corner, <clears throat> uh, can, uh, uh, tell me the scene. What, uh, where, what is Isla and uh, uh, Piper doing? Are they like sitting on some steps? Are they kind of like standing out by the cove? Like, what, what's happening? Probably um, towards the cliff, just kind of looking out, maybe. Yeah, that that would check out. Isla's definitely like sitting. Uh, Isla is just sitting and waiting for Eli. Uh, and yeah, so as you guys are, are sitting there and, and pondering uh, to yourself, you'll kind of watch as um, you'll see some familiar faces coming up the, the, the side of the cliff <laughs> ascending and everyone is able to see each other. Hey. Hey. I look, they're fine. You guys okay? Where's Eli? Were they, were they not supposed to be fine? I don't uh, know. Eli is inside playing up. What happened? Psychic rats. So, oh, so not haunted. Not haunted. The only undead thing in there were me and the boys. Ah. Oh. Are the rats still alive? Flinch. Pulls dead rat out of pocket. No. Uh, come on. Um, sorry, pardon. Where's, where's Eli? Inside, cleaning Inside. up. Wait, cleaning up what? Yeah, the I dead go rat. Uh, I'll, I'm, I'd like to check in there if I, if I may. As okay. you, as you approach the door, uh, Eli, you will just uh, be about opening it. Uh, you'll see Eli... Uh, actually, I'll, uh, Snake, I'll let you describe what Eli looks like right now, because, yeah, you're down to 16 hit points, and you've been knocked and unconscious you got the several boys. times. Oh my god, that's right. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Eli. Yeah, they're, you're gonna come out with, like, two skeletons. Eli's hair is singed. His eyebrows, if they're even there, are just barely hanging on. His clothing <laughs> is tattered and bloody. His Physicality overall is very much uh, tired, haggard, but his face is deadpan. Like he feels none of it. Oh, you look <clears throat> well. Job's done. Where are the others? Uh, there. Sort of point to the group. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, no for the questions. <laughs> um, Isla, what are you doing? Because I know you've been been going through it. Uh, Isla is Isla's just kind of sitting and thinking. She's not really mentally present with everyone right now. She's just kind of letting things happen around her and not like interjecting. She's mostly just staring out at the ocean. Um, I want to roll insight. That's cool. Cool with me? Yep. A twin. Oh. Yo! M my dude. Uh, <laughs> my dude. Isla is, uh, is tilting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I um... <clears throat> <clears throat> Dash will kind of kneel down. Hey. Huh? Huh? Yeah? What is it? Um, let's get you back to town, yeah? Y yeah. Well, I called out his hand to help her up. Piper will do the same. Uh, Isla will accept as she will stand up. She's still not, like, super mentally present, and, um, I think especially with Dash looking, like, looking at her and studying her a little bit more, she, she just, like, I, Isla has definitely been a bit moody and a bit, you know, uh, a bit pin-focused on the 
tasks at hand, but right now she just has a very vacant, very like hollow stare almost. Mm. He'll like, um, yeah, help her up and sort of squeeze her hand before letting go. Uh, and then look over her shoulder at Eli. <laughs> Holy, what happened to you, Eli? He'll like come rats. over and. Right, rats. He'll uh, give him a, a healing potion. I'll give him a um, potion of superior healing. Yeah, go ahead and then you, in your inventory, go ahead and use it now, and then we'll see how much you heal. Ooh. 29? Ooh. How's Eli feeling? Uh, he'll down the potion and he'll feel its effects, but his face doesn't change. And he'll simply offer a thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Dash, I think, is going to give Piper a look like, I, I would love to know what all of this was about later. Piper looked away. <laughs> <laughs> tries to give him a look he looks away dash feels even more unsettled now okay let's yeah he also has like everybody back. little stab marks in his arm like he was stabbing himself for the amulet is isla in earshot um probably yeah i would i would say she's probably in earshot because we're all in a group eli will say nothing Oh. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I think uh, assuming everybody's down, I think they'd all start walking back. Yeah. Okay. Pinching nods a bit. As uh, at like off, a little off in the distance, you know, Buddy and Pinchy staying there and pinching nods, and said, "I've got a good feeling something, something nice happened in there." <laughs> Nice. Boys, get in the bag with your dead brothers. We don't want to scare the locals. Ah, yeah, it's actually really smart. <laughs> You've been getting some looks. Mm. <laughs> Pitchy goes up to Isla. Hey, I'm proud of you. What? Pitchy, not the time! <laughs> For what? Uh, you know, doing what needs to be done. I've seen that look before. I love. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> I. You know what? <laughs> Isla just like pushes past Pinchy and starts walking down the mountain. I, Isla leaves. Yeah, he, uh, he he tackles back a little bit and he'll nod. She's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh. oh, Pinchy. <laughs> I love Pinchy, dude. <laughs> I love him so much. She's doing great. Uh, Isla, <laughs> as you're the first, as you're the one going down first, you'll see this keeper over here. He looks up and goes, oh, hello. He says nothing. Well, goodbye. <laughs> I feel bad for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dude. He, he seems nice. All right. So the rest of you as, will all, uh, uh, yeah, go on. With Isla now sufficiently ahead of the group, uh, Eli will attempt to get the attention of Dash. Yeah. Sort of hang back. He'll just flat out say she thinks she killed a man. Uh, okay. D did she? It was already gone. Nothing anyone could have done. Okay. Um, How loud is that conversation the two of you are having? Probably uh, loud enough for or Eli's not trying to hide it from anybody else. He just didn't want Isla to hear. So he's he's quiet about it, but not whisper quiet. Would I need to roll to snoop on this, Brett? Uh, I would leave that up to Eli. Uh, not to hear what Eli's saying. Mm, okay. So then, yeah, you, you, you would hear it just fine. Okay. I mean, is this... I, 
I don't, I don't know. Like, I wasn't there. I don't really have context. Like, what happened? Some, something infected a man, turned him into some sort of rat road monstrosity. No offense. Looks over at Buddy. <laughs> oh, go up, mate. I guess. <laughs> It was controlling the other smaller rats, some sort of magic psychic link. I don't, I don't know how it all works, but when we, when we killed him, he reverted back to a person. Okay. And we don't know if he wanted to be that or if it just happened, right? Right. <sighs> okay. Okay. Thank you for telling me. I'll nod. And then I'll carry on. So, while the rest of you are, are doing this, uh, Isla, where are you going since you walked off on your own? Uh, Isla, I think Isla's just, like, going to roam the town streets. She's, they didn't have any, uh, rooms assigned. Or, or did we? Did we have rooms assigned? Not not, not yet. yet, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's we haven't still, slept it's, here yet. So. Yeah, it's the first. It's still the first day, so. Yeah, Isla would probably just roam the town a little bit and uh, kind of try to take her mind off of things, but mo mostly just like biding her time until later. Okay. Uh, so as you're sort of like patrolling around, you walk upstairs. Uh, on the other side, you're going to see uh, Jack, who is also kind of doing the same thing, clear in his mind. Uh, for a moment, as you're kind of setting up and you see him, he kind of has this look upon his face that seems very neutral, very solemn. But then the moment he sees you, he gets that devilish grit again. And he'll just be like, ugh. And my day just got better. Isla, how are you enjoying paradise, my dear? <laughs> Isla, Isla makes eye contact with him, and she just looks exhausted. Like, she, she, it, it, her face was blank, but she sees Jack, and she, it, it's almost like a... <sighs> <laughs> and, uh, he'll... Pause for a moment as he's like walking up. His his arms, you know, uh, up like as if he was showcasing the entire island just for her. And then he kind of like puts his hand hands down a little bit, and that grin, that playful grin, kind of fades a little bit, and the smile still lingers. And he goes, "What's got you bothered?" Just tired. The town's very nice. It's, uh, been a long day. Uh, I didn't ask how the town was. I'm asking how you are. I'm fine. Go and yeah, make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Uh, woo, with my plus zero charisma. Dang! <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, so he will nod. And say, yeah, I get it. It's tough travels. I don't even think he got any sleep since the, since we dealt with that chimera earlier on the on the road. Yeah, really haven't. Mm. Uh, it's just been a lot, one after another. Um, is there an inn here or anything? Are you look, are you looking for some place to sleep, or are you looking just for a quiet spot? both hmm ah uh, well i mean i don't live in this area for chance uh normally the elder will have uh, a couple of long houses uh, for esteemed guests like yourself you could always uh ask her i believe she was over at the meal hall uh, i don't want to bother her i i'm sure it'll get assigned when we're he, he, uh, he, when we meet her later. He kind of holds up his hand and say, look, I get it. Sometimes I don't want to deal with anyone either, you know? And you kind of look like you need some, 
you need that time. You need that moment. Mm. Listen, just because I like you so much, why don't you just stay here, right there at the steps? I'll inquire about your accommodations. Um, Isla, uh, it, suddenly the exhaustion lifts a little bit, and Isla actually gives him a small smile. I would appreciate that very much. Make nothing of it. I'm here at your service, my dear. <laughs> the exhaustion is back. The, yeah. the exhaustion is immediately back. She's exhausted again. <laughs> yeah. and then he, he chuckles a little bit, sees that, and kind of smirks a little bit as he just kind of like walks off. Well, Isla sits on the steps and just puts her face in her hands and breathes. Okay. Uh, the rest of you, uh, what would the rest of you be doing? Probably starting to head back towards the town now, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, where, let, where, where in town would you go? Um, I'd let the others know that, like, uh, yeah, they said that they've got some things to discuss with us tonight. Uh, or today. I don't know, over dinner. So maybe we have some jobs around here we can do. Although maybe. I know we want to get your, you know, your dad. That this was a job they asked us to do, right? This, <laughs> like, yeah. point at where they are or where they were. So, it sounds like we probably have something to tell them too. I want to sleep. Yeah, you probably need it, right? He uh, he uses prestigitation and does like kind of like a sputtering out of magic to show that he's kind of on the tail end of all of his magic. <laughs> I got no juice left. All right, okay. well, uh, I don't know. Is it should be to the main hall, or? I guess, yeah, let's figure out what the sleeping situation is going to be, so anybody who needs to rest can rest. Okay. Yeah. So you'll... got to show the elder the rat anyways. Um, yeah, so you kind of make your way around... Um, kind of crossing through the area uh, as you do so um, you'll see uh, Jack is there he's talking with the elder and he goes <clears throat> and he sees the, the rest of you approach and he looks at everyone and says ah you esteemed guests elder where are they supposed to stay huh they've been carried around their bags all day shouldn't you show them their Mm, accommodations. <laughs> you can just see she's getting uh, a, a little exhausted by Jack as well. And uh, she'll sort of walk up ahead and uh, she says, ah, it's good to see you all again. And then she'll see uh, Eli and Piper and say, oh, I was actually looking for the for, for, for you guys. I heard something happened within the, the hut. Maybe not a ghost issue, but a rat issue? You had psychic rats. I don't know what that means. I pull a psychic rat out of my pocket. Oh my, what? <laughs> she looks at that. <laughs> she looks at this dead rat with like the psychic energies and Jack just kind of also raises his eyebrow again. And then she's like, what? Rats, psychic rats. Wait, yeah. is that? A lot of them. And she looks over and she just punches like like a like a it's a it's a hearty but not trying to inflict, you know, bodily harm punch over to Jack's Jack's stomach. And he's like, Ugh. she's like, I told you there were rats in those boxes. I don't know what was up with the weeds that you brought, but we saw the holes. I knew there was an infestation. Now you brought it into our fire keep hut. Did you say psychic rats? Yeah. They threw boxes with their brain. With their... Jack! What are you bringing into our village? And she, Jack's like holding his hands up. He's like, hey, 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 hey. I, I don't know. I'm just bringing the grain. And then he uh, is quiet for a moment. And he thinks to himself. And then he's just like... Oh, dear Lord. Okay. And um, he 
just looks over to the elder and says, "Can you ask them more, please? I I need to report this back to, to back to uh, back to my elder." And Farah looks over at the rest of you and says, "What? What happened?" Uh, I'll sort of look at Eli and cringe a bit. They... She sees Eli and she has a pause of concern, but stays quiet. Something was controlling them. Some one infected by whatever it is they're carrying. If you're gonna report this, I'd do it now. But what controlled by what? Something afflicted with the same thing they are. Inflicted? Are these sick rodents? Uh there was a farm hand who uh looked like he contracted whatever they got and kind of became the big daddy rat. Jack, like, as you're talking, Jack pauses for a second, looks over and says, Farmhand. <sighs> well, where, where's, where, where's this farmhand? Looks at Eli. Unfortunately, we had the dispatch. What what did he look like? Uh, Eli will describe him um, as best he can. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. And he's gonna nod a little bit, and as you continue to ex- ex- explain it, he's he's going to uh, he's, he's just sighs a little bit, shakes his head. And he'll just say, Rosen. Ugh. Elder, I'm uh, so sorry I can't accept your hospitality, but I need to report this to my elder right away. We were missing a farmhand several weeks ago. We were uncertain of where he went, but I'm willing to bet he's now lying dead in your hut. And you said he was infected, yes? Yes. Can you it's- just describe this infection in any way. Uh, Eli will describe the the were-rat as best he can, uh, as well as the powers. Piper will try to describe it from a medical perspective as well. Jack's quiet a little bit. He's kind of looking around. You, you see like he's making some, almost some calculations within his mind and like trying to figure some stuff out. And he's just think he's he's thinking to himself. He's just like, okay, all right. And um, what else was was in it? Was it just all the crates that we had brought? And she looks over uh, to to Jack, um, and Pharaoh's just like, the crates had holes gnawed out of them. We were uncertain what if there was something wrong with the wheat. If there were rodents in there, we didn't want to feed it to our people. He sighs a little bit, and you just kind of see him look over to Farah and give a, a a sort of like this bow. And as he bows, he tries to he tries to bow down like very low. And he says, uh, "Elder Farah, I believe this may have been caused by our village, and I want to apologize on behalf of Briar Glen. We've been dealing with an issue for a na- a now for a while now. One of our." Uh, food engineers has gone me- missing as of late along with a handful of our farmhands we suspected they may have been trying to go out on their own but now I'm worried something more nefarious may be happening here where is the rest of the wheat the non-contaminated variety still at the, the hut Anything the rest that, I burned. Anything that we've delivered at this point must be assumed to be contaminated in some way, shape, or form, especially if it's 
possibly transforming uh, innocent farmhands into strange, monstrous creatures. And then I'll he's deal with it. and then he's quiet for another moment, and he goes, "Ah, uh, by by chance, was Isla with the two of you?" What? <laughs> Why do you ask? Just a hunch, he'll say as he he keeps quiet. Uh, out of curiosity for someone that I am m very interested in, of course. <laughs> Want to make sure she's okay. And then that devilish smile comes on back. What do you mean interested? <laughs> <laughs> oh, relax, you. Pretty sure the feeling's not mutual. I know when to not chase. You're not getting a daddy anytime soon. Especially after... Exactly. He's I'm not quiet. getting one either way. He's quiet a bit. He's just like, yeah, it's not your day, kid. <sighs> Elder, I would recommend that you dispatch of the wheat that we have right now. Uh, at, at this point, I am uncertain of its condition, or, nor what it could potentially do with your village. You said it had a bitter taste. I would advise maybe having Sam take a look at everyone. Make sure that no one is getting or falling ill. Meanwhile, I have to return to Briar Glen. I have to let the Elder know of this, and we need to conduct our own investigation. Uh, rest assured, this may slow down our shipments for quite a bit, uh, so you may want to keep a little bit of your fish stock available. We will resume back uh, to our normal wheat production, albeit it's going to be a little lighter than you have grown accustomed to. We have to make sure that everything's okay. And then Farah looks over at you. What of this food scientist of yours, this engineer? He and he continues. He's like, a proper investigation will be underway. We'll we'll find them. We'll get the answers. But we'll, that was the the last of his engineered wheat. When he, did this new food engineer show up? Oof. Well, it's been, he's been with us now for about, for, for several years now. Okay. I do trust him entirely. Well, I did. I don't know what's happened at this point. We were starting to question the quality of the product when you were giving complaints of its bitter taste. But we need to look into things like engineering our own food so as to, as the population continues to increase, we need to find ways to make sure that everyone is, is being well fed. But I'm not entirely certain what he did to that wheat. So we'll have to go to the old fashioned way for now. Which means it's going to take some time before we are able to replenish the stocks enough to give you the numbers of wheat that you, you are used to. My apologies, Elder Farah. Farah just kind of like waves him on and it's just like, do what you have to do, Jack. This is obviously most distressing indeed, but we'll find a way. And then she smiles, that kind of like exhausted smile when you've just been dealing with shit constantly. She goes, we always do. Oh, maybe he raises a hand. It's like, do you think we could ask a favor from uh, Mr. Hellebore before these fine folks, you know, kill them or whatever they need to do? Paris quiet. It is just like, no laugh, no nothing. Just stares at Jack. And Jack's just like, right, well, uh, so sorry. I'm going to be missing the fishy feast that you guys brought for us, but uh, I must be off. Uh, what do you want from my dad? <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting each and every one of you. Son, he says to Piper in a joking manner. I spray him with perfume. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Ooh. That reeks. What is that? Yeah, just making sure I didn't like you, so. <laughs> you gave me bad vibes. I was <laughs> making sure. Oh. Oh. He tears up a little bit, and he's like, that... What was that? It's my insides. Yeah, thanks for that. All right, well, uh, toodaloo. I will uh, 
See you all. I'm just gonna go ahead and pack up and catch you all the next time. Is uh, Logan doing something? Uh, Logan's gonna follow him. I'm okay. not gonna tell anyone I'm doing it. I'm just gonna follow him. Go ahead and make a stealth check. Baby, it's what I was born to do. Don't say that before Don't you roll. No. Baby, it's what I was born <laughs> to okay, do. You. you can't stop me because I'm following you. Sees Logan leave. I'm not going to question it. Let's see that stealth, stealth check. Stealth 26th, dude. Yeah, 26. Oh, oh it the door. Oh, I didn't think we'd even see him leave. <laughs> oh, it did. I, it updated on my side. So, uh, all right, 26 it is. Um, so, um, yeah, I think I, I think I disconnected and reconnected. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, so you're going to go ahead and follow him and he's just going to kind of like dive through the area and then eventually get over here, uh, to where Isla is sitting down. Uh, what's Isla currently doing? Uh, she hasn't really moved. She's still sitting there. She's probably just been looking at the sky in between rubbing her face with her hands. Uh, Logan, you'll kind of notice as he approaches um, his, and as he's walking through the area, that smile he's been kind of giving on just kind of turns into just a solemn face, something a little bit more serious. And he looks at Isla and then he kind of breathes a little bit, kind of motions his hand over his face as if to put on a smile. And then he goes, uh, <laughs> Isla. Bad news, I'm afraid. I'm going to, uh, oh. I'm going to have to be leaving the village right now. So sorry. I know you oh. were looking forward to spending all this time with me. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, that's sudden, though. Yeah, well, it seems, um, it seems something has happened in the, uh, the fire key hut. Flinch. Yeah, uh, oh. apparently they found a, 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 a defected farmhand, but, you know, he, that farmhand was apparently one of ours, and missing for quite some time. Is that so? I'm afraid so. But you know what I think? What's that? I think that farmhand was sealed to his fate. No matter what would have happened at that point in time, no. No matter how any situation would have went down before that farmhand went down. As someone that personally knew the guy. I don't think I would fault anything that happened. It sounded like it was self-defense. Sounded like there were a lot of victims in that room. You know what I mean? He, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I was trying to like keep it together um I but she she just like as he continued to talk she just mm -hmm. started shaking a little bit you know we lost that our food engineer a few weeks ago left the village one day not sure what happened but I'm beginning to see it's all piecing together now us did something with the wheat anyone that went into it probably spread causing a contamination and infection of some sort Oh. And if that farmhand was ugh, everything that was described, long gone, long gone. I wouldn't blame whoever put it down. And in fact, I would probably thank the person who was able to end their suffering. You know? I see. And the only yeah. thing, and the only one I blame right now is our food scientist. I need to find him. I need to know what happened before I can put this case closed, but... You know? Do you have any leads? None yet. Going back to Briar Glen, actually. Gonna go ahead and see if I can follow their tracks. I see. But whatever happened in that keep, whatever happened in that hut, needed to happen one way or another. There was only one, there was only one ending that was gonna happen there. And I'm, I'm glad it happened quickly, you know? Uh, yeah, thanks. Um, and he, he chuckles a little bit and says, for what? I'm just, oh, a, um, and he goes, and he just goes, I'm just a blabbermouth. 
<laughs> Love to hear the vo sound of my voice. Clearly. Mm. I... I... <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. I just... I just overthink things sometimes. I don't like hearing when things are going awry. Hmm. Um. Hey. I, yeah? I think your friends are looking for you at the meal hall. I'm sure they'd love to see you. Oh. I'll, I'll go meet up with them hmm. in a minute. Yeah. Uh, you're very obnoxious, but you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of puts his hands to his cheeks and say, you just have the right things to say, don't you? I try once in a while. And she smiles at him genuinely. Take care, Isla. Hope to see you around the island sometime. You as well. If we're still here and you find a lead, let us know if we can do anything to help. And as he's walking away, he kind of looks down a little bit. Um... His back is facing Isla, so uh, Logan, you'll be the only one that kind of sees his smile fade a little bit. But then he still speaks in that upkept tone, and he goes, "You'll be the first to know, my dear. Take care." And then he just kind of walks away. Logan, do you follow him because he's leaving the village? <laughs> yeah, oh no, I'm still following him. Okay, he leaves the village. Do you leave the village as well? Yep, still following. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Well, oh, yeah. no. Well, Logan. Well, Logan's Season heading to Briar Jesse. Glen then. <laughs> Truly splitting the party. Oh. Logan. <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Logan proceeds to stealth after the man for the next 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Logan, let me know if there's anything else you're doing. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that you're going to track him all the way to Briar Glen. Uh, literally, if he's going to go try and find the food scientist yeah. that is responsible for whatever just happened, I'm assuming it'll all link back to to some truly shenanigans. So Logan we is going to potentially kill all of them. Anyway, continue on, please. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, so, no. so just so you are aware, Briar Glen is on the other side of the island. It's going to be okay. about an eight-hour travel, and Great. you're going to be the only one showing up to Briar Glen. Yep. All right. Uh, so Logan's out for the rest of the session. Uh, I got my stealth my on, dude. I'm stealthy. Uh, okay. What is the rest of you all doing now? Um. Well, if uh, I assume that high priority would be uh, dealing with the rest of the food that's in that building, if um, if that was happening, Dash would help with that. Okay. Well, I think I think the food was all already all dispatched, right, Eli? Only the only the stuff that was obviously infected, uh, right? But okay. she said that everything needs to get. Oh yeah, she she right she would she would have uh, she would have others take care of that. She wouldn't ask you guys to do that. Okay. All right. Uh, was, yeah, go on. We need to find somewhere to sleep, and then also, yeah. if they want to eat, then we can we can eat and sleep maybe. Yeah, okay. They want to. They also wanted to chat with us, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So chat around food and then go to bed. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we'll uh, let's go take a small break uh, so everyone can stretch, go to the bathroom, and things like that. And then we will uh, we'll continue on. Does that sound good? Sure. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. Hello, we're back. <laughs> dog Hi. called me a bitch. Hey, everybody in chat, what kind of dog do you think Summer would be? Uh, <laughs> a little Pomeranian. Dude. Chihuahua. A little Pomeranian. Dude. Ooh, a pug. Ooh, Boston Terrier. That's final. final answer. <laughs> I, th I think Summer has some pretty big Chihuahua energy, actually. <laughs> I say that in, like, the most supportive way possible because Chihuahuas are very cute. All right, guys, I'm leaving the campaign. No! <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, 
Everyone's dropping like flies. All I'm saying is, I'm gonna send this to y'all. Look at it. Come on. Come on. Look that's at that. Per thing. That's perfect. That's perfect. What's wrong? That's perfect. What's wrong? These are... up. Shut the fuck up. That's perfect. These, these Come are, on. That's these perfect. are cute dogs. What are you? That's what going I'm saying. Boss about? Terrier. That's your little, your little cutie pie. Shut the fuck up. Look at your little tiny little cutie pie, and you're like, yep, 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 yep. yep that's yep, you. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, not that's one the of those one. crappy like little rat dogs. You're like a cutie pie. Yeah, you're a little cutie pie. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Summer immediately mutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm Let's... doing what I'm doing, dude. I'm hiding an RP. <laughs> uh, returning back over here. Uh, first of all, Isla, what are you doing? Uh, Isla probably would have taken just a couple more minutes to herself to just try try to shake off a little bit of the funk. She's still in her head a bit, but Jack did make her feel quite a bit more settled. Isn't that the uh, worst? But, yeah, that's terrible. That's that's <laughs> the worst. She's a little bit mad about that. <laughs> I, the player, am a little bit mad about that. But anyway. <laughs> uh, after a little bit, she would like start heading to the mess hall and to meet up with everyone. Okay. Come on, uh, come on down then. More? Um, Dash would definitely try to quarter Piper <laughs> at some point. Um, and uh, just kind of reach out for his arm and let him decide whether or not to give it to him. <laughs> The elders like I'll give you guys some space. <laughs> oh, she she's she's setting up the table for tonight's uh for tonight's meal. He'll let himself get caught because he's weak. <laughs> Dash will uh take his arm and lay on hands the cuts and won't really say anything. Thank you. I wish you had told me that you guys needed help. We were fine for the most part. Eli got really hurt in their pipes. He's not dead. I just wish you had told me that you needed us. That's all. <laughs> Next time I will. I'm not good at being like, oh, I need help. Hi, still. So. Um... Think of it more like, you know, we're a team and we know how to work well as a team, okay? Okay. He's doing big old puppy dog eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucked up, though. Yeah. As Isla's approaching when you guys are talking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, while you guys are talking, you'll kind of see Isla start to, uh, come into view. Do you want hey. a dinner? Oh, shit. Okay. What? Hey. What? Sidebar, sidebar. Uh, okay. One sec. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she raises an eyebrow. What? Us, us hug her get? Yes. What? Just go out there and fucking hug her with me. I was Give going. Hug. I was already going to. Okay, well, shit, then let's go. Okay. <laughs> Why are, are you mad at me? This corner? I'm not mad at you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then what are we doing whispering in this corner? Let's go do that. <laughs> yeah. It gets smamished. Yeah, Dash Dash won't Dash won't hug her, but he'll open his arms like <laughs> to let her decide if she gets hugged or not. I Isla is <laughs> extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> she just like tenses up. She seems more present now. Uh still bumming a bit, but uh she accepts question mark the hug. Great. Hug! She's 
Is this uh, helping or does it feel awkward for you? Because it feels oh, awkward I'm letting go. What are you doing? I'm, I, I don't know how to make you feel better, so I'm attempting it. I'm fine. You sure? But thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> is are are you good? Is are what do I hug back? I don't. <laughs> is this awkward? Do I let go? This I'm is gonna pretty let awkward. Go. Okay, this, I'm gonna let go. This, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> over here. Thanks for trying, buddy. Do you want a hug? <sighs> Yeah, go on then. <laughs> yeah! Dash goes in there and gives him a big hug. <laughs> how, does, how does Buddy's fur feel? Please um, say greasy. Please. Well, I feel like... I feel no! Like it, we, we're out in like a pretty hot climate, right? So it's it becomes extremely fuzzy. It's very humid. Um, and also, you've been in the ocean for like three yeah, hours. Yeah, you're fluffy as hell, mm -hmm. dude. Yeah, he's fluffed up for sure. Uh... Is it weird? It, I have oh. to bend. I, sorry, I have to bend over a lot to do this. Can I pick you up, or is that weird? Yeah, I guess you can pick me up. Yes. <laughs> it's like the size of a child. Him. How yeah. heavy is Buddy? How dense like is he? A couple hundred pounds. He's dense, right? Yeah, we talked about this pounds. before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Are you gonna make me roll boy. strength <laughs> to pick him up? <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I'm just curious. I poke. I poke the Buddy Pudge while he's in the air. Oi. I put him down. Oh my god, that is all actually skin. If I flex, it becomes muscle. Why? Don't mm -hmm. believe it. She says as she's walking by. <laughs> 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 oh. Are you getting ready? <laughs> Where did Logan go? I don't know. I haven't <sighs> seen him. He'll turn up eventually. As yes. he burns the lens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll show up. <laughs> he oh. normally does. It's a, it's it does. a normal thing to think for Dash. Like, yeah. well, he's off being Logan. He'll come back. Um, an hour shall pass, and as it does, uh, you'll watch as Vulan comes up with all these delectable. Uh, grilled, baked uh, fish plates. Uh, one's a fish stew that he has. And he's just kind of walking up and he's like, oh, let me go ahead and tell you, this is uh, remarkable, absolutely remarkable, the things that you were able to bring over. But no one really fishes for this. It's, uh, it's actually a rather good delicacy. So uh, yeah, um, I, I think it's good. this is going to be real good. All right. Yeah, looking hey. forward to you cook up. Yeah, gather, gather around, everyone. Gather around. I hope you're okay with uh, with some squash. Uh, I was told to leave the bread aside, uh, according to our steamed leader over there. And Ferris nodding, like, burn it, burn it all. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're, we're not gonna head, we're, we're gonna just use some, uh, old grades I had over at the, uh, that, 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 that I've been storing. Thanks, it looks amazing. Hey, thank you for bringing this. It's, uh, I haven't been able to use, uh, this kind of fish before. Everything else has just been so standard, you know? So, uh, yeah. thank you, and, uh, and enjoy. Yeah, yeah, we will. Ferris sit, will sit kind of at the, at the, the head of the table, and the table's been pulled, like, outside. You're kind of watching as, like, the sun's coming down a little bit, and you're seeing the, 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 the sky kind of turn all these various hues of blues, purples, and oranges, and she sits, and she, yeah, she offers everyone a chair. Um, our shard phones don't work here, right? They don't have reception or whatever shard phones use to work. <laughs> uh, no, they would they would still work. Um, I think Dash would take his his like weird little burner phone out and try and call Logan. Okay. <laughs> I hope he's got his ringtone on and he gets caught. <laughs> oh, dude, it's just like what, what happened with him and Victor in the city. He had his ringtone on. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Callback. Uh, Logan. Uh, you have a uh, one of your burner phones. Uh, what do you have it set at as default? Uh, I have it set as back on the ship. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, 
uh, you uh, would then get a uh, yeah, it would it would go straight to voicemail. Man, I wonder where he is. Puts phone away. Is, is that Jackalope would make a nice coat? Is uh, is everything uh, all right here? Who's saying yeah. that? Oh, that sorry, that's the um, I apologize. That's the elder. Is everything oh, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Logan helped with the fishing. I figured he'd want to be here. Hmm. Maybe he's son of a bitch. What? <laughs> What's that very nice? I'm sure he wants to be here. Everyone looks to Eli, including the Yeah, elder. everybody looks at Eli? Yeah. <laughs> Something you want to share? Eli will look to the party and he'll ask, Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> yeah, we all came here together. What do you mean, Eli? Way back when, I could have left. Lamento, she gave me an out. Lou gave me an out. And before I met all of you, I would have done anything to get out of that cell to find the person who who took away my baby girl. Took me from my baby girl. Now, the reason I didn't is because my baby girl is still alive. And what we were doing, what we are doing, thought help keep her that way. Look at where we are. Look at how close we are. And Eli will look to Piper. Look at how close we are. If you were, if you were Logan, what would you do right now? He's trying to find him first. But why? Why would he go without us? Eli will give uh, Dash a come on look. So he can kill him. Um, okay. Uh, he's not answering. I don't know. And we don't have any magic. Is this, um, are you saying this loud enough so that the elder can hear? Uh, I guess that depends on how Eli started the conversation. <laughs> I, li I leave it up to you. It would be loud enough for everybody at the table to hear. If the elder is at the table. I think Pharaoh, yeah, Pharaoh's definitely watching on. matters not to me but I suppose an inquiry just out of curiosity why are you looking for Hellebore there's some things, reasons there's some things that only he knows and we need him to explain it I understand that but it sounds like your friend may have left on other matters for him. He's, uh... He's involved in a lot of dodgy shit. Like... Interplanary. Bad stuff. Jeez. This lot, they're, uh... They've got good hearts and they, uh, they're trying to save a lot of people. I mean, I can tell. You have you barely you've been here for a day and already you've done so much for us. Mm, that that hut has been an issue for quite some time, and it looks like you may have unintentionally been helping Briar Glen as well. Uh, please, and she offers a, a chair again to Eli and to Isla to sort of like sit around this like area over here. Isla. Sighs and sits 
at a table. I don't know where a table is. Table oh yeah, 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 yeah. You could, yeah, you could sit around wherever. Th yeah, this would be like the the front of there. There'd be like a chair here, here, here. This would be the table in the middle over here, and then you could have a chair like here, here, and here. Yeah, there you go. Do we, uh, Elder, with your permission, do you mind if we pack some food to, uh, to potentially leave? <laughs> she nods and says, you can, but I'm going to be very honest with you. It's going to be tricky to find Ignatius Hellebore. Honestly, we're not even certain where he is. We have the means to communicate with him, of course, but that would need the involvement of both elders. Myself and the one at Briar Glen. And would you do it if, uh, if we convinced the other one? I've only met you for a day. Yeah. And while... While I do admit, you do seem to have some potential... I, I, these are, this is not a decision that I can come to at the same day of meeting you. As of right now, Ignatius Hellebore is our only line of defense if, if Europa ever decides to attack and take over this island. It's something that I would be more than willing to speak with the Elder with, sure, but... And he doesn't even know you. What kind of defense is he providing? His familiarity with technology, the various medicines and herbal remedies that he's created has helped our village tremendously. Uh, don't get me wrong, this is an, this is an alliance of, of, of convenience, nothing more. He keeps to himself. He's not one of us. And the way that he handles and handles his business, it's all transactional. I suppose everything we do in the villages at this point when it comes to outsiders like yourself is transactional. And even if I did say yes, I would be more than willing to help you, and I'm not saying I'm not. You would still have to convince uh, the other elder. How do you communicate with him? We have limited shard technology that allows us to patch in basic communications. Hmm. I am free to I am free to speak with him as he is to me. The elder, not uh oh, excuse me. Mm. The uh the elder. I see. We uh we wouldn't want to put any of your people in danger. Mm, you we wouldn't. Honestly, we we knew that he was back for quite some time, but we haven't heard from him. The only time when he does arrive here at the island, he informs the both of us of that he has arrived. He gives us the frequencies and wish to communicate with him if we do need him. And ultimately, he decides if he is to assist us or not. Quite frankly, Ignatius Hellebore holds all the cards whenever we need something from him. But he also knows that if he needs something from us... We're kind of reliant on that. Quite frankly, he's a powerful individual. And while I don't think he would, I don't know him enough that he wouldn't turn against us if it fulfilled his needs. That is more my concerns. Hmm. But you think he's definitely on the island somewhere? He is. He informed us uh, quite some time ago that he's that he he's arrived, and to communicate with him if we did need him. But that would involve a communication from both elders, myself here, and at Briar Glen. We both need to make the same communication and plea to him within a twenty-four hour period. Otherwise, he will not show up. He explained it to me once. He was afraid that if either of us were to be come under the mind of some sort of mind compulsion magic, that it, this would be a, a two-way defense. If I agree in the end, uh, and... Sorry. If I agree and Elder Brem also agrees, then we are able to, to, to reach out. 
and he would uh, he would respond with a location, specifically one of the ca- cavern patterns. I theorize that he his base is somewhere underwater, freely able oh. to move around the island. Keeping I'm going to look at Piper. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> well, pats, pats, pats. I mean, you it think should he's be... adjacent? Here you go, here you go. No, I, I was just going to say, it should be easy to convince him. I mean, we showed up, but... I mean, this guy is involved with so much. Way more dangerous people could show up looking for him, you know? Like what? To look straight at dash cards on the table who is this man uh <laughs> dash gets like a deer in the headlights look look i said we lay it all on the table reality is that we're putting their village in harm's way i mean he is but if we come here to deal with it there's likely to be a chance of that well, yeah there could be some blowback all right, then. And then as she kind of like, she takes a bite of fish and puts a, a fork down. I understand that you've had a lot going on and there are things that you'd rather keep private and personal with each and every one of you. You've only met me today, so trusting me, obviously, is a difficult challenge to overcome. But if you are asking this of me, then I need proof. I need honesty. I need to know everything that you've been through. Who you are. Why are you after this man? Who is Ignatius Hellebore? Okay, we'll start with this. I'll drop my disguise self and Hellebore will come out and say hi. <laughs> Just hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, she'll look over at you with the, sort of like this like surprised face and she'll go, what has happened to you? I'm dead. This is what our family does. You want to know why our family's dangerous? This is what we do. A a long, dragged out pause. It can be like heard over the table before she's finally like, all right, you have my my attention then. All right. I guess, I mean, can we fade to black here? <laughs> or like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're free to, just, you're free to just do. Just be like, yeah. yeah, just explain everything, yeah, t- I guess. Yeah, yeah, tell me the, tell me the keynotes. Tell me some things that you explained to her. Uh, I think we'd probably explain like, you know, we're from IO, um, the, uh, that we were, you know, a group that was looking for a serial oh. killer. Explain the Ganymedians, right? Explain mm-hmm. that there's aliens in the government, and Dad probably knows who said aliens are in the government. <laughs> yeah. And that we're basically trying to find him to uh, <laughs> save a lot of people on IO. Do we mention the cosmic apocalypse, baby? I feel like that's not relevant, but Dash okay. might might sort of spiral Allude into that it. at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> into an yeah. Spiral. He's really worried about it. Yeah. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to stop him, he'd probably he'd probably start. I, I, now you go off, honey. No, let him talk about his baby issues. Yeah, he'll talk uh, about look, the baby. Look, we don't want to. We don't want to overwhelm him. Let him spiral. Uh, <laughs> Buddy's definitely going to interrupt him. But look, look, we don't want to overwhelm. It's just very bad out there, and it could affect everyone, even as far as out here. It sounds like that. All right, so I. Definitely understand why you're after this man and how it could save your home. I would understand. I would do anything for this village. Anything to protect it. And if what you're trying to say is he's going to bring danger to us because of his alliances, well, that could be problematic. But I see there's a couple of empty chairs here. So I must ask, what is... Logan, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I doubt he would leave you all high and dry for a pious mission. Hellebore killed his kid. Yeah. And that explains that. Revenge! Piper does jazz hands. 
Okay. Babe, not the time. <laughs> okay. I've been sitting in the back of the brain all day. Let me have fun. I didn't get to fight in the rat pit. Okay. Okay. This... This all makes sense. This really does. Then you understand why we need to find him. I before do. Before Logan does. Well, first of all, if Logan is able to find Elabor without our help, that in itself would be a feat. Well, you know, an added bonus would Logan not getting himself killed in the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she didn't not. you guys say there's like a dragon or something around? Yes. Yes, she says as, as if like she just had a eureka moment. Uh, allow me to step away for a bit. Okay. I might have... I might have something. Mm. Look, we might be jumping the gun here. Logan might still just be in town being Logan. I'm gonna look towards the eye. What makes you think he's gone after? I would have. Yeah, that's good enough, enough for me. The worst part is I think my dad thinks I'm dead right now. Eats his food. Honestly, if Why? I was your father, mate. I sent a picture to dad of my decapitated head and then I disguised myself as Talon and I was like, ha ha, killed your son. Why I did it with this head. Why did you do that? I, I pulled my, head, my decapitated head out of the bag. Put, put Why that did you do that? I don't know. I got bored. I wanted to see if it would get a rise out of him. He didn't Piper. respond. If it makes you feel any just... better, mate, I don't think your dad would ever believe you'll die. You're persistent. You know, that's, I think, the nicest thing you've ever said to me, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> he eats a whole fish. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got bored. Piper been out too much recently. Today is example. I got bored. I thought it would be funny. Um, okay. Do we have a way to find Logan? Like, if everybody rested, if you got some of your magic back? Uh, I have Locate Creature. I, that's what I used on Loretta before. I have to sleep, though. I also have Sending, so if he doesn't have his phone on him, I could at least Sending him and be like, The fuck you doing? The only issue with that is it's eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long time. It's a lot of potential trouble he gets into. I don't know what else we're supposed to do, though. Like, I mean, can we? I mean, it? we we can try to get into his mind and figure out which direction he would have gone in. But if we're wrong, then we waste time either way. Besides, even if we went to go and find him, some of us are a bit roughed up. Yeah, you guys deserve to rest. You should have seen those rats, baby. Oh my god, they were so big. <laughs> Isla just droops a little. <laughs> not the, not I, the I, dude that you totally slaughtered, Isla. I was talking I, about just the big uh, rat. Oh types. no, dude. <laughs> Isla just... You, you see Isla just deflate. <laughs> oh, I thought it was sick, girl. I was sitting in the back of the brain. I was like, yeah, she's kicking ass! Piper. Never thought home. He was out all day. I didn't. Didn't mean to do that. You didn't kill him. He was already like corrupted, whatever, girl. You put him out of his misery. As as somebody who's dead, you're valid. It doesn't matter. What matters is the intent. And that's that's what bothers me. What do you mean? Mm hmm. I love just kind of looks at Buddy. You weren't around for it. I was a little bit different before. And you aren't her. I heard you say that back there. I'd like to believe that. 
Yes, sir. When you realized what you'd done, what you thought you did, your first reaction was, oh God, no. You want to know what mine was? Better him than me. You're not her. You don't even want to know what my reaction was. Isla just... <laughs> Isla, Isla gives a weak smile like she appreciates the thought. Um, and she tilts her head to the side uh, and says, uh, It's funny. I've spent all of my life wanting to be Karis. Now I just got the smallest taste of it, and I hated it. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. Karis is my ideal, and I'm just starting to see how... how bad that actually was. Yeah, but you're focusing on one, the wrong thing, mate. You're focusing on how you're similar to them, to her. But there's countless ways that you're not. Hmm. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> Let's all make sure we eat enough, and then everybody should get some rest. I need like four more bowls. <sighs> Sorry about that. That took much longer than I anticipated. 30 minutes have passed as you guys were to talking and discussing with each other. And she sits down. I was able to reach out to Elder Brem, let him know everything that was going on here, potentially what may have happened with their food engineer. Everything like that. Uh, we're on a bit of high alert by by now, but I think we're going to get through it, thanks to you all. I also spoke highly to Brem about you, and had a long conversation about everything, and also to let him know that a elf may be showing up within his village and to treat him not with hostile intent, but more cautious restraint. So if he were to show up for whatever reason, they won't shoot him right off the bat. Thank you. We also had a discussion about what to do about Ignatius Hellebore, if we are to call. I'm willing to arrange a meeting but Elder Brem doesn't know you and I also only know very little of you except what was said today but even after a day I feel comfortable hopefully that feeling will remain uh, after a nice, good night's nice rest but even though I understand you are Intention is to do this as fast as possible. We would like to ask something of you. A transaction, if you will. If you're okay. able if you're okay. able to handle this, Brem and I both agree that we will do whatever is necessary to help you find Dr. Ignatius Hellebor. Okay. Just name it. What do you need? What you want, baby? I got it. <laughs> Eli narrows his eyes. Have you ever encountered a dragon before? I think I have a dragonborn toe. Mm, no, 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 no. An actual full-blooded dragon. I didn't think they existed anymore. Uh, well, a fairy tale. We thought so too. Until we found this one. 
and we call it the Blissian Azure Dragon. It has caused quite a bit of a menace in our time. Fortunately, we've gotten very good at tracking it. Not to try and stop it, mind you, that would be suicide for any of our warriors, but to stay clear of its path. Now, normally this has been working out for us very well. Uh, however, and she kind of groans a little bit before she says, my cousin, Lilibet, has recently taken side with the dragon. She believes that the Azure Dragon can be weaponized against our enemies. And in fact, as she describes, formed a pact with the dragon. Apparently, she's able to tap into its powers and has grown strong because of it. Uh, above board, when I say pact, I mean she is a custom subclass. Quite literally, the Pact of the Dragon for warlocks. Wow. So, so it's quite literally a warlock pact that gives grants the user the power of a powerful uh, a powerful dragon that's still alive. Cool. <laughs> she mentions so, and then she kind of like goes and mentions uh, she wishes to create a, a coven of these dragon warlocks in the hopes that we can, they can be used to stop any invasion that may have come from the European authority. Oh, I understand now. Hmm? Whispers to Dash. She's a scaly. <laughs> what does that mean? I'll tell you when you're older. Okay. So because of that, she now sides with the dragon over at the, uh, the, the dragon's nest. And like I've mentioned before, none of us have actually been able to defeat this powerful creature. And it has caused quite a bit of menace. It has slayed many a hunting party. It wipes out all wildlife here on the, uh, here on the island as it continues to feast and, and feed. I look at it as a as a menace to both Aquarian and Briar Glen. What about you, uh, your cousin? Uh, if we came across them, she sighs a bit and says, "If it can be avoided, I would take it. I would appreciate that as a personal favor." It'll be avoided then. She, yeah, would. <laughs> she holds up her hand and says. I do not want to sacrifice our chances in stopping this dragon if it means sparing her life. One life is not worth the life of an, lives of the entire Belisian people. What she's doing is reckless. She has made her decision. And if she perishes because of it, so be it. I will mourn her in my time. But as Elder... The Azure Dragon needs to be stopped. It needs to be slain. Uh, now, if you are capable of doing, performing such a feat, you have, not only will you gain our favor and we will do what you've asked, but you will also have earned our, our loyalty. You'll be considered heroes amongst the, the Belisian people. And we will do whatever it takes for you to handle your business with Ignatius Hellebor. I would like to roll insight. Yeah. She... Hmm. She's telling the truth. There's no deceit there. There is sort of like a, there is doubt and that the only reason why there is doubt is because she's quite literally asking you to slay this, this, this dragon. No one has been able to do anything about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, can we have a minute to talk? Is that all right? Sure. Do you wish for me to leave the table? Uh, yeah. 
Wait, before you yeah, go, please. I have a question. Yes, she says, looking over <laughs> at Hellfort. Do I have your permission, consent to use your face for the purpose of talking your cousin down? She holds on to her face and she's like, I'd rather you didn't take my face. No, I mean like this, and I turn into her. That's incredibly unsettling. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm a good actor, though, I promise. She closes her eyes because she doesn't want to look at it anymore until <laughs> she all she will say is, I want the dragon slain. That's all I care about. I will have whatever you do to meet that goal, so be it. However, you- and she opens her eyes. If you are to do something like this, you better make sure that dragon is dead. Yeah. Just thumbs up as her. <laughs> right, I'm going to, and then she just immediately gets up and walks out. <laughs> He'll drop the disguise then. I like making people feel uncomfortable. It's been a new hobby. Yeah. Oh, that's what the hug was about. What, what we no, discussing? that was just Piper being stupid. Huh. There's nothing to discuss. We do with the dragon. We get your dad. We solve this whole bloody thing. It's a dragon. We don't... I mean, we can ask, but... From what they've said, no one's been able to do anything to this. We don't even know how strong it is. Do you have a better idea? Any other leads? We came here knowing that we were going to face something... We didn't know it was going to be a dragon, but how different is a dragon compared to what we've already fought? We're down a detective. We are. Yeah. Yeah, but he missed a lot of his shots anyways. I'm going to be honest. That's not fair. We could use him. But here's the thing about dragons. Up until now, everyone thought all dragons were dead. Right? That means they're known for dying. It can be killed, we can kill it. People have died against this thing before, but look at us against that Chimera. We handled ourselves, we work well together. We don't go in there ill-prepped, we get the stuff we need, we deal with the dragon. There's no other way. We don't mess around anymore, we can't find another shortcut. There's a chance we could lose Logan, and if we lose your dad, it's over. Okay. No, you're right. Let's do Don't it. doubt us. Don't I'm doubt not. yourself. I, I'm... I just don't want... I don't know. I'm just being selfish. I don't I don't want anybody to get hurt, but we're going to get hurt. Speak just... your mind, baby. I am. I, I don't know. I, I care about you guys. I'm worried about Logan. I'm, I'm worried about Io. I'm... I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take to to find this thing, to to kill this thing, if we can kill it. If shit hits the fan, I'll deal with it. You look out of it. That's not happening, buddy. It'll be fine. We can deal with the dragon. All right? It's from another time. A time before big old fucking guns. We'll deal with the smiles. dragon. Okay. Doctor. <laughs> yeah. See if you can rein in the detective. Mention the dragon. That we need his help. I will do that. Actually, I could do that right now. Hold up. <laughs> Mr. DM, does this count as a short rest? Uh. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I could, can I use Arcane Recovery to get back a third level spell slot? Uh, you can. Okay, I micro slept while we ate. I could sending him now. <laughs> you don't, you don't, <laughs> short rest isn't, <laughs> isn't like micro resting. <laughs> oh no, I know. This is oh, okay, just okay. being stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. I wasn't paying attention. I was napping the entire time. <laughs> 
I mean, I can send him now and be like, Yo, bitch, we know you left. Get back here. Yeah, we gotta do kill that. Dragon. Tell him that we have a way to find Helipor. He'll come back. I tell him to give you a proper response back. <laughs> right, because if you if you do this and he just goes, Okay, and then carries on going. We've we've got no way of communicating with him for eight hours, right? Tell him yeah. to turn around. But Hellebor looks a little frustrated. He he looks at Dash, he's like, Can I do the sending or do Shiloh Ch Ch Piper do it? <laughs> Do you, are you worried that you're not going to say what needs to be said? I want to do it, but I'm in an antagonizing kind of mood. Here, you can only say a certain amount of stuff, right? So just like write it down and then, and then say what's written. Wait. What? Fine. Okay, come on, give me a second. I got to write it down in my spell book. Before you write it down, why don't we do this? Why don't we lie to him and say something? Bad's going down here. He might be too stubborn to listen to reason, but he's not going to be too stubborn to come back and save our lives. Just tell him we're in some deep trouble here. Say things have really popped off. And I'm going to say that Dash died. Say, what? say Dash is hurt. Say Dash is hurt. Look, lie to him because it's for his better health. When he comes here, we'll convince him. I'm bad at... I'm, see, I like to say I'm good at lying. I'm not actually good at lying. Can somebody punch a dash so it's not actually lying? That's... A, I actually don't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> dash looks more confused than ever. Like, wait, what's going on now? Don't worry about it. You're beautiful. Okay, okay I'm gonna practice writing this out. G give Summer a second. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to wait very quietly for you. <laughs> Good I'd like to imagine that Dash is actually doing that <laughs> <laughs> at the table. Like, Everyone's all right, just rubbing yeah. their temples. <laughs> <laughs> Elber's like, all right, I'm going to write this down. And Dash is like, all right, we'll give you a minute. <laughs> could I, uh, could I have Buddy approach the elder? Off the yeah, ab absolutely. She's over by the beach. Um, oh my god. He, 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 he wandered down there. He fold his arms and he'll kind of look to her and say, look, I don't want to, uh, presume anything about anything that goes on around here, but if there was no Hellebore anymore to protect you, what would you need, exactly? Guns? Tech? What do you need? She's, she smiles a little bit and kind of turns over to you, and it's just like, I, we'll, we'll make do. We always have. Our village has existed before the, the Hellebore has, has arrived here. Oh, just like uh, losing our food, just like Briar Glen losing their food engineer, just like us slowing our food supply. Hellebore is just a a resource. We'll find more. We're survivors. We're fighters. We'll be fine. What I'm trying to suggest is that I can find you some things. <laughs> she laughs a little bit and holds her hands and says, uh, "Yeah, you'll." Uh, You'll, you'll, you'll come on back here whenever we need help. Uh, I, d I don't know if I can make a promise like that, but and that's, I'll and find the time to, to bring you back weapons, to bring you back ships after I have after. She's, she sighs a little bit and she'll kind of think, kind of think it's a mo there's a moment herself a moment and she'll say I don't think I want any of that you know we we came here to trying to live a simple life kind of get away from how you know, technology is just swept over all of us and if you come back with an arsenal to defend ourselves against a, the Europan authority uh, it's just gonna make us violent you know yeah. If we're able to defend ourselves properly with weapons of just this this awesome power, 
what's to say someone wouldn't use that in a more offensive manner? Use that to take instead of protect what we have already. You are. I, I do appreciate the offer, and it, it, it's very sweet, but we'll we'll be fine, honestly. No, I get it. I get it. I just wanted to make sure you're all safe. Um, your cousin. Hmm. I'll give you my word. I told you I was a good bounty hunter. Yes, I'm aware. She says with a chuckle and smiles over, like, like just to poke it a little bit more. What I mean by that is the best bounty hunters don't kill. Okay. I'll bring your cousin back and she will be pissed off the shit over you and us especially. But in time, she will see the ever of her ways. But you'll have your cousin. I appreciate that you're looking out for your people, but we don't have to worry about that. I don't mind risking my neck if it means less of your people are falling, including her. She you have my word. She she gives an approving nod, and she says, "Okay, all right, if you're." just as good of a bounty hunter as you say, then it should be easy for you to get her back, huh? Yeah. Piece of cake. <laughs> well, then, if you are going to do that, then may I ask one more favor from you, then? Of course. What is it? If you somehow manage to slay the dragon and bring my cousin back unharmed and we have this beautiful family reunion and we bring her back into the fold. I want you to do me a favor. Name it. The next time you come back here, because I feel like you're going to be coming back here at some point in the future. Yeah. Can you please just... just visit? You don't have to be a hero, you don't have to protect anything, you don't have to bring resources or supplies to make sure that we're doing well. Just be here. Take in the sights. Enjoy what the island has to provide. You don't have to be here to be on some sort of life or death mission. Just live. You know? You think you can do that for me, buddy? I mean, you're asking a lot. I haven't done that since I was a kid. When I joined up with the army. I kind of just kept on fighting since, but... We don't need any more soldiers. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. Go be your Keep hero. It. Go ahead and be a hero now. And then when you come back, take some time for you. Yeah, I'd like that. Then she'll, right, well. she'll nod. Yep, yeah, uh, big old check on the others, you know, need my protection and all that. <clears throat> <laughs> Good night, buddy. Good night. And, and then she'll just kind of look, look back to the waters. Where'd you go off to? Uh, uh, me, uh, I need a piss. <laughs> <laughs> Had to, had to take a wicked dump, you know? <laughs> I want to insight check that. I'm insight checking. I'm insight checking. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. oh my god, a 30? <laughs> oh my god. It's fair my cover is cheeks, but they're definitely red underneath. <laughs> Cute. Uh, uh, Isla stares at Buddy like a solid beat and smiles at him. I see. Very well then. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, what we what we doing over here? Uh, we sent the message. Okay, this is what I thought of. I'll put into Beats chat, repost it. Does that look good to everybody? Uh, 
I guess it gets the point across, yeah. Yeah, that's about as good as it's gonna get. <clears throat> Logan's always a wild card, though, so it even still might not work, but it's worth a try. Can I go, like, drown my head in the river for a second just to, like, get the dramatic effect going so it feels real? What? I think that's unnecessary. Hello, okay. just, just Yeah, just message him. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're, you're messaging? I'm casting sending on Logan. <laughs> All right. While that's happening, I'll go ahead and go to a different map where Logan's gonna be. All right, one second. Staring face to face with the dragon. <laughs> the Logan, and then it's just an X I'm on part it. of the dragon cult now, dude. That, <laughs> That'd be so funny. Dude, oh my that, god, that would be incredible. <laughs> Fully in. Just it, it took you two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you start dating the cousin. She Yo. gets me. You guys never will. <laughs> I knew Logan was in a tiny woman. Uh, I've made a friend to kill a, to kill Hellebore. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize it was going to play that loud. Um, so you are currently uh, tracking. Um, while you're in the jungles, you're currently looking around and trying to follow and track. Uh, your tracking is going to be done not with survival, but with investigation. You don't have to do it right now, though. You're just kind of following the tracks. He's moving at a pretty quick pace to try and get back to the village, but you're also moving at a cautious yet quick pace to remain hidden as you're continuing to travel around. Uh, and as you do so, you're going to hear a, a ping in your head. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Hellebore. Hey, bud. I don't know where you went, but stuff got real bad real fast. Uh, we, we have a way to find dad. Come back! And please respond! How- is that- is it like an echo in my- how does it- is it just the voice? How does that sound to me? I'll, I'll leave that- How, I'll, how I I'll, like I'll, to- I'll leave that to, up to Summer. How I like to flavor his sendings is that like an ethereal phone pops up in front of you and it kind of sounds like it's coming through a phone, <laughs> but it just like it pops up in front and it kind of sticks around for the duration waiting for a response for a minute. And you know it's Hellebore. It has caller ID. How long does, uh, how much can we say to each other? How long can the conversation last? What is the process? I think you can, I think you can only give a response and it's within 25 words. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, all right. Before I respond, can I do some sort of role to determine the sincerity of said message? Uh, yeah, you can make an inside check. I would love to make an inside check to figure out what are you talking about? Uh, so... Go ahead and make a deception check as far as you hamming it up. All right. So you can definitely tell Hellebore's hamming it up because Hellebore is a bit of a ham. Uh, but the intent and words are true. Even if Hellebore's uh, being a little dramatic about it. Sure. Hold on. Let me have 25 words. This is madness. Um, uh... Uh, the girl from Impanita plays on the phone He do be a ham. Yeah, um, is this through my head or am I speaking this aloud? Summer? It could be either or. The little phone in front of you, you get a feeling you can respond to the phone in your head. Sure, sure. Um, I will, you know what? Hold on. Summer, I'm just gonna send this to you privately. 
Okay. And I'll let you determine what, what you want to share. Okay. Hold on. I got to go down here to you and do this and send you a message on the internet and... Do you say this out loud or in your head? I'm assuming this is in your head. In my in my head to uh the little I'm not sure which one you are right now. <laughs> whichever yes. whichever hellebore you are. Uh whichever fucking creature you are. <laughs> Boom, there you go. You can use that hell you want. As you send the message uh you hear from behind you. Uh, you'll hear. So what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Oh my god! Logan, Logan looks at Logan looks at him and is like, "They're worried about us." Hmm. So what's the plan? Well, I figure we follow this one. He leads us to this. Scientist, scientist, leads us to Hellebore. Hellebore dies, big bang, boom, you know. He's nodding. He's uh, absolutely. He says, good. Fantastic. I'm sure you will enjoy the amount of people we are going to kill. Uh, killing doesn't do it for me anymore, but I do think, uh, I do think we need to take action against this guy. I was just waiting for you to step aside. I could see it, you know? Poke, he kind of pokes at you a little bit. Well, I'm glad to have the company. Mm. This will be enjoyable for me, I think. <laughs> Pinchy! It's quiet, it's quiet for a moment, and you're gonna take like a few steps as you continue the journey, and Pitchy's gonna stop. And he, he 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 looks down for a minute, and then he's gonna look over at you, and he's just gonna say out loud, "No, it's not." And Logan, without turning <laughs> back, is like, "You're right," <laughs> and just keeps walking. Yep, Pitchy continues to walk as well. Pitchy, um recognizes what Logan's going through, also recognizes when shit needs to be done. Um, I think Pinchy thinks the, the group is is a lot of, like the, like, the group does it, but kind of does it in a way that, like, like, this is gonna happen eventually, but we, so we might as well skip to the end and, and spare everyone the grief. And I think that's why Pinchy would have absolutely, after realizing Watching Logan step aside, Pinchy's like, yep, it's time. And he just kind of follows Logan out as well. So, uh, yeah, Pinchy's, Pinchy's joining Logan on this affair. Meanwhile, back in Aquarian. Uh, you get the response back. <sighs> what did he say? So Hellebore turns like beet red, like hardcore blushing, very embarrassed or flustered about something. And then he just goes, that mother God fuck. And then he uh, takes a glass and throws it on the ground. Are you uh, a Yatsalas? Is that what's happening? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shit, I pressed my wrong I button. I know you did. <laughs> That's what I was like. Yeah. I must have pressed. <laughs> <laughs> and then Talas shows up. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of swearing, cussing, and you know. There was a glass. I take it it didn't go well. But also just like beat red blushing. No, it didn't go well! Care what? to elaborate? Yeah, what did he say? He's not coming back. He's stupid. I gathered that. Are you keeping the message to yourself? Yes. All right. Message received. <laughs> and that will wrap up today's session of Deadbeats. Woo! I was telling a dragon. Woo! I guess, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go kill a dragon, gang. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dragon killers. 
Io hasn't had a dragon fight in quite some time. <laughs> We're gonna go into a dragon fight. He's gonna be like, ah, oh, adventurers. And we all pull out guns. He's gonna be like, wait, what are those? <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I think me and oh, Joe did the last dragon fight, right? I'm sorry? Mm, when? when? Did the last dragon fight last phase? Uh, yeah. Are you talking about, um, I forget what the dragon's Hunters, name was. Hunters, yeah. I, I oh, Insanity. The... Yeah, it was yeah, insanity. insanity. Oh, you mean Joe Cat? Had... Is okay. that the one that the pirates snubbed? Uh, I, uh, no, you guys snubbed um, the dragon that Braun had to kill eventually, and that oh, and that turned okay. into uh, a fight with uh, one of the Shadow Lords using the, the animated parts of the dragon. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that you wouldn't that wouldn't have ha that well. wouldn't have happened if you didn't snub that dragon, but you did. Amazing. So they uh, helped us out when insanity is sterling. He made that dragon dance. And then uh, yeah, and then Braun, yeah. and then Braun had Stur it. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. Oh. And then you made, and, that, you made that dragon dance. I got free advantage. And then the Braun party had to fight off against um, um, Ju Evil uh, baby. Jubilex. Yeah, for five, six hours. <laughs> it was a lot. I remember that. Yo, they're the only ones that killed one of them. Yep, that's true. So God bless. That's true. All right. Uh, well, I think we got a little. We got bingo today. Uh, HP, Yay. HP, oh was the, HP was able to get a, a bingo together. So let's do a little bingo, bingo, bingo. Let's do a little bingo and then we'll be back next uh, next week. So let's I'm uh, bingoing. Bro, I'm bingoing. What makes a killer? That is an appropriate name. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. It's, it's getting it. Riz RP. Yes. Uh, I show him, her, them, the rat. Yep. Uh, more fishing. Yep. Uh, no one referenced WoW. We don't talk about WoW in our D&D party. Get that shit out of here. Uh, Ignatius Helper shows up. No, Nat one. Yep. Uh, buddy did light a cigar. The part The party leaves town. Ooh. Or should we be saying this? Oh, God. I am so sorry. I'm like reading these all out for you and you're like, ha, 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 ha. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Oh, the, I think the square didn't load. That's okay. Well, technically, we'll, a party of one left the town. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. <laughs> or two, True. two technically. Yeah, looking, the life party left the town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Lo looking, looking out to the ocean moment. Yes. And then we'll, we'll I'll just check this off, and that'll be a, a bingo. Check that out. That's bingo time. Nice. Bingo. I'll get bingo. There we go. I uh, yeah. I love mental break RP. Yep. Uh, well. <laughs> Dash uses divine sense. No, Pinchy eats something. No, Pinchy ate nothing. No. Victor sends another message. No, uh, the monster killing was a setup. Uh, no, Nat twenty. Yes, Ooh. Pat does unsafe gun handling. No, more rat like anthropes. <laughs> no, Hellebore raises the rat from the dead. No, the town gets mad from the farmhands dead. No, uh, the party attempts. I mean, yes, but they don't get mad at the at the party. <laughs> yeah. Um. The party attempts to soothe Isla. Uh, Isla. Yes, that'll be a uh, double, double, double bingo. bingo. Someone tries to find a way to revive the farmhand. No, no combat this session. Nope, no combat. Uh, DM loses. I don't think so. Always. I think I, th I, think, <laughs> okay. I, I think today was a, a great session, even with uh, even e even with Logan leaving the party. I think it's going to lead to some very cool story moments. Uh, someone RP falls asleep. You're welcome, Internet. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> God damn! That was uh, that was Logan when he was fishing. Amazing. Now, how did they know? I don't know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have no freaking idea. It was really good. All right. Well, guys, once again, thank you so much for playing, and then we will be back next week. Yo. Have yourself a good one, guys. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.